and welcome to Outlander's <laughs> ah Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. <laughs> it's, it's session twenty-five. Hello. Oh my goodness! Yeah, session that... twenty-five. Wow. What has okay. happened? Uh, that's that's a fourth of a hundred, guys. That's good. There, how many weeks that's are there in here? The Fifty-two. <laughs> yeah, We're officially like past the, uh, which I know we've had like a week off here and there, but I think we've had like double games more often than that. So I think we're, I think we're on game 25, but not quite week 25. I'm not sure, but we're, we're coming up on a year of game. Wow. Ooh. Halfway at least. Soon. Soon. <laughs> All right. Well then, shall we jump right in? Uh, with uh, today's recap brought to us by da -da 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 Austin. Hey, it's me. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and a frog. <laughs> and a I frog. I was working diligently. Um, allow me to swap to the <coughs> proper screen as this is going to be something that is... Oh, that's... Not correct. Here we go, full screen. And make it on stream. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. So, hey, everybody. Um... Oh, boy. W welcome to the Outlander's Guide to what the heck is going on. Um, if... If you haven't seen the last episodes, um, or even if you have, there has been so much information revealed to us that uh, we're all trying to wrap our heads around. And boy, it's hard for even us as the players to figure out what's going on. So I figure you guys watching uh, need a bit of a, a, a recap too. So let's, let's take a look here um, uh, at just what happened during our last session during the campfire scene. So, uh, first up, Brooke <laughs> told us about uh, the gang of, of uh, different fur, fur bulgs that he had worked with during the war. Uh, their names were Leo, Leah, Brooke himself, Sonny, Ray, and Niccolo. Sorry if I misspelled any of those names. Um, Dude. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all of them. We'll, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> um, and uh, as, as he was telling the story, it, it really took uh, a bit of a tragic twist um, as we discovered that oh, no. Leah uh, needed to apparently sacrifice herself um, uh, and then Leo, who uh, was Leah's uh, lover, uh, uh, killed himself as a result, uh, which is very sad. And Sonny is is a panther now. Um, and Brooke won't tell us how or why. So let's move on. Pip, Paza and Granny. Um, <laughs> his, his parents made a deal with an archdevil called a a ma, a madri, mad <clears throat> magdragach um <laughs> and granny took his rock away and pip's got to get that magic rock back because it's it's there's some sort of connection there between the rock and his parents and he feels like he needs that rock to be able to figure out how to get to them again um for the ingredients that Pip is getting for Granny, uh, Pip told the party that he needs a rusty dagger and a coin with a symbol of a duck on it. Um, and that's true. Um, and Pip, <laughs> Pip has a noose around his neck with five knots on it. And um, with every batch of ingredients that Pip gets Granny, um, one of the knots will be unraveled and he will be one step closer to being free. And then we move on to Tekka. Tekka told his story by the campfire. And I, <laughs> I just made like a very short list. This is not a complete list, by the way, of some reasons that Tekka is cool. Okay, so number one, he can control smoke, apparently, uh, as, as we saw images flash in the campfire. Um, 
Tekka must journey home from very far away. And number three, Te- Tekka has a destiny that his mother robbed from him as told to him by a translucent floating god who wishes for the Plurinan gods to visit them so that they can have a chat. I believe that is true. <laughs> yeah, plain and simple. Just nice little chat. Um, Just Tekka things. As for Pontifex... His parents gave him a rock that may or may not hold the <laughs> secrets of the universe in it. And Pip is very jealous of that. <laughs> Pip is very tempted to just ask it itself what the universe is made of and take all the secrets for himself. Look what happens when you get yourself a fancy rock. You go and lose it. <laughs> Talix's dad worked with Jamuel and also Pontifex's parents, who apparently haven't aged a day despite being half a millennium old, which is a mystery we've yet to even begin to unbury what all that means. Um, and Talix needs to speak to Barry and Thar to figure out what the Jade Council thinks about the seed situation because uh, it seems like Jamuel is the one who had the idea to begin with um, or may have concocted that plan from the beginning, but we're, we've yet to see. Um, all right. Um, speaking of Jamuel, Jamuel's not Jamuel. Okay, so the person in the book, the person in the book that we thought was Jamuel is sure that he is Orm, but is also sure that Orm is a metal man, okay? But we, the players, have been having this long theory for a long time that that Jamuel is also a dog, as in the book, the book Jamuel, not Jamuel, is a dog, um, because he has a strong sense of smell, as long established, uh, leading us to believe that he is a dog. So the dog, Jamuel's dog, real Jamuel's dog, the skeleton that we found, uh, came with dog tags that had a semicircle symbol on it, and that's all that we could read. And it could have been an O, which could have stood for Orm or O.TH. So take that for what you will. So, uh, okay, hold on. Um, wait. If not Jamuel, Orm is a dog, and Sunny became a panther, could these two things be connected? (laughs) <laughs> no, it couldn't be, could it? Uh, anyway, after we shared these stories, we headed back to Sim Simlelon, where we expected there to be numerous festivities due to the Day of De- Deliverance, the most important of all Plurinan holidays, the day that denotes the end of the war. But when we got there, all was silent, and there were hundreds of bodies laying around the city. They all seemed to be asleep due to some sort of strange magic inside of them, which the party determined to be coming from the air itself. Uh, We found a gnome who was wandering the city and seemed unaffected by whatever was in the air. Uh, We don't know what that means yet. Uh, Squeak flew up and looked around and discovered that one of the towers of the wizard school in Simlelon was covered in strange vines and plant life, and as he got closer to it, he definitely felt more and more sleepy. The party went up the magic stairs and were determined to fend off these plants without doing too much damage to the library itself, uh, because Pontifex would definitely not allow that. The roots of the plant were difficult to take out, as it seemed to absorb much of the elemental energy thrown at it before that energy was used to attack back with more ferocity than before. As the party begins to head up the stairs, there are several questions yet unanswered. Where did this plant come from? And why? And, and, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. Hundreds of sleep caused by a plant? Now, who do we know that likes to sleep a lot and also carries around a watering can and a flower pot? (laughs) None other than our very own Tekka. And who would want to ruin a day of Plurnan celebration other than the one who is constantly harassed for some supposed curse as a result of Plurnans and Ladarians intermingling? Tekka? Wait, there are more connections here than previously we thought. Tekka has dark hair that fades into an ocean blue and is sometimes mistaken for a demon. Who else do we know has blue hair and is sometimes mistaken for a demon? Squeak Kostorox Jr. So who really is Tekka? What hides behind that cool exterior? Tekka is Squeak Kostorox Sr. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, but the connections don't stop there. 
How could Tekka create a giant plant after all? A watering can and a flower pot are but tentative connections. But we, we happen to have on us something more than, than that. <laughs> the seed of Vakanath herself. Tekka must have taken this the seed and done something to it. Some sort of corrupting magic that caused it to billow and swell. When was the last time anyone checked to see if the seed was actually in the metal case still, huh? <laughs> but why would Tekka do this? And what is the universe made of? And if Tekka is Squeak's dad, then is Pot FX Pip's granny? He's old? <laughs> Check. <laughs> he knows arcane magic? Check. He wanted to take the magic rock from Pip? <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we've established our campaign's greatest threats and villains among us in our own party, who is it? Who is the hero? Who can save us from this? In other words, if Jamuel is not the book, then who is the real book among us? If you scramble the words in Brook Hyatep, you get a therapy book <laughs> or he a party book. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's old, hence the old spelling of book. <laughs> Someone who can make us feel better about our own traumas and lead us to a brighter future. I figured it out, everyone. I solved the campaign. Case closed. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He is the one. <laughs> <laughs> We must tranquilize him while we have the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I will use my mind magic to wipe him again. Is Talix the only one we can trust? Where did Tekka get the seed? Stolen. <laughs> you said so yourself. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Talix is just the useful stooge. <laughs> Well, if <laughs> Alex's parents knows Pontifex's parents, that means they must be similarly aged. The only evidence to the contrary is simple word of mouth. But we've seen <laughs> visions of our parents together looking similar aged. Perhaps they are in fact the same age, maybe even siblings. Talix could in <laughs> fact be your great aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! When There's did you layers. guys hack into my notes? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy when you set the notes password to onion. <laughs> Go back then. How did he know? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess there's no point in keeping going, right? All the story revelations have been laid out on the table. Um, yeah. I uh, just go to epilogue, I guess. So we well, yeah, I mean, I think it's on session 25. It's a good number. We have the final planned fight, which, spoilers, it was just all of us versus Pip. <laughs> <laughs> you found the hidden pipe that takes you to the last Mario level. <laughs> Turns out I was not a frog. I was a hag <laughs> all along. You were Bowser. I was merely cosplaying as a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well, uh, thank you for clarifying things. Uh, <laughs> well then, shall we return to the silent city of Simlievon? Uh, you guys had just climbed. Uh, the city that never sleeps, except now. <laughs> uh, here, let me build, <clears throat> let me build the follow the, uh, the next floor where you guys will be stopping at. Um, Sorry, real quick, because uh, your boy has had a very busy week and hasn't had an mm -hmm. opportunity to actually finish the vote. Uh, I did remember, I uh, recall, there was a person inside of here with a gun. That yeah, is correct. We, we got a little gnome with us who, for some reason, was walking the, around and not. The being gnome like part that. wasn't a detail that I heard, but a detail I had a hunch about. And okay. I noticed that Pontifex was not throwing fireballs at said gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's been a miscommunication of my character on my part. <laughs> I would like to retroactively apologize and ask if I can now throw a fireball at said gnome. While being in the library? To make up for love. 
Uh, look, there it is the lesser of two evils. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew we roleplayed Pontifex wrong last time. <laughs> you okay, allowed I... me to befriend a gnome? I think I oh, lost this. Also... She's just sort of there. <laughs> you did not cheer me on to fireball the gnome? I thought we were friends after how much we have been through together and you do not truly know me. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, no. Give me a moment because I need to fix the thing. Uh, I need to give it like 10 seconds. But yes, her her name is Grangina uh, and she has been <laughs> shooting at the plants with you. Has she actually shot yet? Oh yeah, she shot. Uh, she yeah. she fired one shot. Ah. Okay, let's see. Which is the one bit that I know was the, the description of the explosion of the gun. Oh, and by the way, it's not simple sleep magic because that wouldn't work on elves. Instead, they're being slowly suffocated. Yeah, but, yeah, they're they're all okay. dying out there, which is way more fun. <laughs> Uh, you can position your minis. It is like the staircase that comes like from downstairs. Okay, here we are. Where is my mini? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. I think we are good. Is this good? I think it's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have climbed up. Uh, you have climbed up a few floors, uh, and this is uh, you finally reach a spot where once again these, uh, um, the way is blocked. Uh, the beautiful, rich library of Simlielon is uh, on this floor, also overgrown with wet plant matter. The roots that stretch across the floor and across the staircase in front of you remind you of pulsating veins, rippling with magic. Puddles of colorful ooze have collected themselves in various spots. The air is beginning to feel thin when you breathe it in, and then heavy when you exhale. And you find yourselves uh, yawning every so often. What would you like to do? <sighs> <clears throat> stay awake, stay focused. And remember to be careful about what magic you use. I mean, I think I have found the weakness of the plant, since my magic wasn't absorbed. So, uh, what kind of magic is that? Have you ever heard of the phantoms? Hmm, yeah. Well... And I'll take out the sword and try to... Well, it's still out. And try to swing open like a little hole in here. Um, yeah. You cut through the roots. And the, the opening that you made uh, does not regenerate. And like before, the, the roots that are covering the staircase are just like layers upon layers. But now that you know... Um, that your radiant magic prevents them from uh, um, from healing up, yeah, from regenerating. Uh, you think you should just, you know, given enough swings, you should be able to cut through here. So his sword is like shining bright right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will start making my way through that. Yeah, um, you slash and cut. Over and over and over uh, until I'll need you to roll a strength saving throw. Oh. Uh, while he's doing that, real quick, um, what has Pontifex tried on these plants that didn't work? I assume that he threw fireball or something at it and it, it shot him. Um, we figured that, that the fire was a bad idea to throw around in, in the library. Uh, hmm. But we did we, we do. We use it. No, we used fire. Yeah, we used bonfire from Pip. Well, yeah. yeah. Pip did bonfire, the bonfire, right. Uh, so, uh, poison, fire, and... Oh, thank you. Yeah, you have it right there. And, cold. and the cold uh, the cold was from Pontifex. Um, mm. They all work. They do damage. 
but this plant seems to also be able to store the damage and uh, um, and deliver it back with its attacks. Yeah. Mm. Um. Okay. But we're saying that radiant is is working. Mm -hmm. And hops the regeneration. <clears throat> So, uh, Brooke, as you're beginning to make progress uh, up on the staircase, the roots begin to move, and some of them try to wrap themselves around your ankles, and as you feel a tug, um, you, you pull away from them uh, before they have managed to, to take hold of you. And uh, uh, I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative again. Uh, Talix... For, for no, Jason. Mine, yeah. uh, no, your spell still has four rounds to go. Okay. <gasps> Let's go! Spells oh. good. Oh. I love low dex character. <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny. The fact that I can theoretically have a negative two as initiative is... Here you go, Austin. Oh, I had a... Oh, thank you. I had a... Oh, yes. <coughs> I had a negative two strength check... Uh, strength... Uh, yeah, strength check last session. <laughs> right. Yeah. The... Yeah, I could have a negative one Soul. strength check as well. I could have negative one strength or negative two dex on rolls. <laughs> Imagine having negative checks. Imagine having a four in a stat, just like in general. <laughs> Amazing. I'm missing Brooke's initiative. Oh, it's uh, what? Yeah, it's not set on your mini. It doesn't look like. Oh, or wait, no, we don't always I see that. Yeah, 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 I understand. It should be done now. Sorry. Yes. <clears throat> oh. Okay. This is <laughs> still red as for ninja. <laughs> is this word the name for this plant thing? Yep. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, geez. <laughs> we didn't even go look for it. Nope, I summoned it. That is my truth. <laughs> 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 I thought you were supposed to be the hero. Is it the plant uh, magic yeah. making me hallucinate, or is this thing <laughs> built on a pile of skulls? Well, that's fine. It's <laughs> ominous. <laughs> it's um, nothing too bad. It's just it it went through the. Uh... Oh crap! What do you even call that? Would it be anthropology? I guess. I don't know. Some historical uh, section. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so specimens. Pip, uh, the roots have come alive uh, after having been uh, cut and slashed multiple times by Brooke, and uh, um, they are. They, you, you see, you see these roots basically lift up their like arms and just slamming down uh, onto Brooke as it just moves out of the way, and uh, you're the first to act. What would you like to do? Uh, uh. Pip reaches down into his pouch and casts magic stone on a three of his pebbles and is going to hoist them up into the air as they begin to hover around Pip's head. And then uh, as one of them spins around Pip's eyesight, he quickly flings it towards the uh, plant monster with catapult. Okay. Roll your attack. Dexterity saving throw. Nice right, so dex save. <clears throat> How dexterous is this plant? Uh, 13 dexterous. It fails! Which means I roll 4d8. Magical bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh wow, what a roll. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, this is one of the rocks. This is, um, doesn't really matter, but it's mm. it's uh also, I forgot it's a it. it's a brown and white speckled one. <laughs> Keep track of that in your notes. 
Yeah. <laughs> he he yes, does. I, I have his, I have his list losing? of rocks, and they all have their own descriptions. It's amazing. Um, okay. That is, yeah, that is a lot of, uh, a lot of bludgeoning damage. Um, so you just see it, it, it gets, uh, the pebble gets shot through all these, um, this, this, uh, uh, mass of uh, of growth and it sort of like gets absorbed and then like spat out. Uh, but where it went through, it l it does leave a hole. Uh, it kind of looks like one of the uh, green genus bullets. Uh, it's about like the, the the same size. And then Pip is just going to scramble behind this chair. Okay, moving on to Talix. We just need to get through, right? Probably. Talix is going to take out his amber. Show the piece of Akhenoth to the plants for it to see with its eyes. And he's going to invoke her name. And he's going to channel divinity and attempt to charm the plant. Okay. Give it the sexy eyes. <laughs> so uh, that's save on my part, right? Yes, you must make a DC 13 wisdom save. How wise is the plant? It's hard to know. A lot of you use your <clears throat> channeling stuff like an ID batch. <laughs> <laughs> I am a cleric uh, excuse of Excuse me, I'm, I'm with the plants. I'm with the plants. <laughs> okay, step aside, you can let us through. Let me through, I'm a plant doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um... Talix, uh, as you feel your magic take hold over the plants, um, you feel like uh, um, hmm. yeah, your magic has taken hold. Uh, you can feel it. You can you can feel that the, there is uh, um, some. Uh, some amount of intelligence in these plants, uh, a bit higher than most that you've encountered, uh, <clears throat> and you can feel what uh, um, th that the, the plant equivalent of their, their own thoughts and feelings. Uh, you feel them respond to you, and then you feel them bend to a different entity, one that isn't you. Uh, these plants are already charmed. What? Um, but uh, um, you don't uh, um, have to use up your channel divinity. Although it does take uh, um, whatever action it took to actually use it. I think someone's in here. That's all Talis is going to say for now. That's Ooh. it. Amid this catastrophe, someone else is using the library. That is commendable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is like one person slumped on this chair over here. <laughs> um, oh, look at this lad. <laughs> but squeak. Right. Not because they're uh, cursed, that's just a college kid. Yeah. I think, I think Squeak was still in imp form last time, right? Yeah. Um, mm. So Squeak is going to, to fly up in the air uh, up towards Brook and fly around this plant and just say, ah, I can't do much to this thing, but you, I know you can. And is going to uh, use the help action for Brook's next attack. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's there he somewhere. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, before we continue to Brook's turn, uh, let's see if this works. Boop. Boop. Hey. All right. It did work. <laughs> um, I need... Talix and uh, Grangina um, and Tekka to all roll strength saving throws. Okay. <laughs> uh uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> Well, all three of you, 
Um, uh, the roots around your feet begin uh, to rise up and they tighten themselves around your ankles and you're yanked uh, further into the library. Um, each of you, <laughs> each of you 30 feet uh, in here. Just like... Straight uh, line? Yeah, in a straight line. Uh, <laughs> 30. <laughs> like and tech, uh, here. Uh, and you're prone. <laughs> Jumanji style. <laughs> yeah, I like that, exactly. <laughs> and then, I'm just gonna give it a 1d4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, Tekka. Mm -hmm. Well, natural 20 hits. Um, oh. Where's the attack? Here it is. Um, as the roots slam you into the ground with such force uh, that you take 12 bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, Brooke, now it's your turn. <clears throat> the squeak is providing a distraction for you. Yeah. Also, you heard Talix scream. <laughs> and the gnome that you don't care about, and Tekka. I mean, yeah, you said that someone is inside there. But you didn't um, mean inside this thing. Oh, I yeah. Well, I mean, unless you want to interpret it that way. No, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what Alex meant. He meant, he meant <laughs> in, like in the yeah vicinity. in the library just before just because yeah. you well, This brings up again. a philosophical <laughs> question: When someone is dead and your skeletal remains are there, are they still a person? <laughs> that is a good question, and I'll take a swing at it. <laughs> 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 In which case, it is multiple people. It could even be a whole family. Uh, you're already hacking away at it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure there is nothing of value. You have advantage. Uh, if you want to roll again, just see if it's a critical. But you do hit otherwise. I helped! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. First damage is radiant. <laughs> All right, one radiant, 11 normal. Okay. Um, your sword meets barely any resistance as it, ju it just slashes through the roots and leaves behind this uh, burning, crackling uh, gap in between the roots. <clears throat> All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I hope I did tell, tell his Regina, um Okay, um, Gringina, for clarity, you guys are not grappled, you were, you were pulled and, and dropped. Uh, so Gringina pulls herself to her feet and <clears throat> looks back at uh, uh, this mass of uh, uh, snake-like tendrils that, had, that has uh, grabbed half the group and pulled them forward, and she aims her rifle and boom, bookshelves shake, and uh, she hits or this much damage. And Tech and Talix with you guys being uh, <clears throat> this close to this thing, um, you can see as uh, the, the bullet went uh, right through the plant and uh, <clears throat> left uh, this, this large hole right in the middle of it where you can see the, the, the wall on the other side through it. And uh, uh, it's slowly beginning to close up uh not fast enough to entirely undo the damage right, um, right away but uh over time uh tekka it's your turn uh yeah okay so tekka will get up uh kind of just groan and then walk over and try to help uh, talix up Oh, thank. Oh, thank you. But 
I think you're needed in this fight more than I am. We all need his daddy. Hmm. And that's the end of Zekas turn. Okay. Then moving on to this plant, <laughs> we're going to start with Brook. Uh, does a 17 hit Brook? Nope. Does an 18? Nope. Okay. <laughs> what if I told you 25? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's two attacks on Brook. Uh, uh, Pontifex. No. <laughs> does a 10 hit Pontifex? Uh, let me check my note. Despite a 4 in dexterity, no. <laughs> okay. Pip. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. uh, Pip gets a crit. Uh, <laughs> Does a natural 20 hit you? <laughs> These are the only, armor? the only <laughs> attacks I'm landing are critical hits, but everything else is like below a 10. Um, still not, not as bad as it could have been. Uh, so there will be 11 bludgeoning damage on Pip uh, as one of these roots just slams down on him and completely obliterates the chair that he was hiding behind. It's, it's, it's gone. <laughs> uh, Pontifex. Find a better spot. <laughs> He's going to uh, to move and like see what's what's going on around the corner here, and that uh, is making a very tough choice. I hope I don't lose my divinity for this. Uh, and I'm gonna cast Bless, and one of the targets is the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm blessing Brooke, uh, Gringina, <laughs> and Tekka. It means they can all immediately attack, right? With their reaction. Uh, it means works. one of them can, uh, oh. which is going to be Brooke. All right. Thank you for reminding me, because I always forget. But yeah, if it's, oh, I, thought that's uh, what, if... I thought you were doing that for that, yeah. No, I was just blessing because I only have one type of magic that I want to test, maybe, uh, but I'm not willing to do that yet. <laughs> but yeah, I, I keep forgetting the whole gross. reason why I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Uh, so yeah, Brooke, you can make a... in his mouth while he does it. <laughs> if you would like, you can use your reaction oh, to make I'm an just... attack. Yeah, do I get another advantage again? Uh, no, you're still so. blessed. But you do add bless, so you add a oh, d4, a d4 to your attack roll. Oh, that's so much damage. Just have to you can, hit. You can add the d4. Uh, attack roll, not damage roll. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe a 14 hits. It's a planned better hit. Maybe a 13, 13 hits. 13 hits. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> Blast! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Best first level spell ever. It's so good. All the token. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, we take those plus, plus seven, seven. It's still sick. No. <laughs> Wait. One radiant and eight normal damage. Hmm. <laughs> Got it. Such a bunch of facts. Uh, okay. Plus seven, that's insane. Um, is, that, is that your turn? Uh, and then else? I think he's going to step back. Uh, I moved 10 feet before, so this is my 15th. Uh, okay. Just to, to get, I guess, behind the wall. Uh, that's and it. We're back at the top of the, initi of the initiative with Pip. Uh, uh, Pip gets to his feet. Uh... Uh, what what exactly hit him? Did, did a root come up from the ground? And... Yeah, uh, they the the reach of these things seems uh, 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 like they could easily get to any little corner of this library. Uh, they're just there's so many of them that just curled upon themselves, and once they extend, they reach dozens and dozens of feet forward. Pips, I guess Pips just gonna try and climb on the table. <laughs> Oh, and, there's papers uh, everywhere, and you just scatter them. That's fine. <laughs> someone's uh, someone's research uh, 
For, for the college student over here. Yeah, we also oh, established no. that someone's sitting on it. Yeah, okay. Someone's he was thesis asleep paper. before the magic. Man, those <laughs> things are no joke. <laughs> anyway. Pip doesn't know about any of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's college? Uh, Pip. My parents couldn't send me. Uh, my, Please so... ask me that question in character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pip takes one of the other rocks, plucks it from uh, above his head where it's floating, and is going to chuck it at uh, the plant. Uh, so that's an attack roll. I'm gonna roll it when I find my modifiers. Okay. <laughs> Did you like the song? Yes. Yeah. I appreciated the musical number. 21 hits. All right. Um, that's going to be... <clears throat> Eight points. Off? Of bludgeoning. Ah, uh, yeah. Magical. Yep, yeah. Okay. Um, Choo! Okay. So that was that was Pip's action. Bonus action is gonna be uh um oh I know okay so uh Pip uh, or yeah Squeak is is saying to you Brooke hey hey. Big man got me stepping on my tail! <laughs> and uh, Pip is going to use his bonus action to use telekinesis to pull Squeak off of Brooke's foot. <laughs> there we go. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Talix, it's your turn. Uh, Talix is just going to turn to Tekka and say, Um, thank you. Uh, now please do something amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and use uh, and use cure wounds at first level. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's not that. The Paji curse. No, don't don't invoke that name. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. That is it. Okay. Points. Uh, squeak. Um, Austin, Squeak yeah. is uh, the, the one among all of you who is the most feeling the uh, the effects of the spores. Um, I need oh. him to roll a constitution save. Okay. Mm. He has tiny lungs. Oh, no. But still mm. better constitution than Dalek said. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, never mind. Oh. <laughs> it, I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, it oh, was, shit. It wasn't a difficult save, but <laughs> more difficult than that. Um, Squeak is just feeling too tired to really do anything right now. The, the idea of just getting on the chair and closing his eyes feels great right now. Cool. Um, All right, get off my... T get, get off my... T <laughs> Hold on. All right, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you need any. <sighs> um. <laughs> we'll figure out how to maneuver this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure they're just sleeping? He's <laughs> <laughs> not asleep yet, but it, it just, <clears throat> he's just so tired. Um... Yeah, moving spaghetti. on to this other plant over here. Why spaghetti? Mm, I like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alex, an 11, I don't think, hits you. Also, you'd have to make a save before attacking me. Oh, that's right! Ah, again! Do I have to move uh, the attack if I fail? Yes. Okay, it's a wisdom save. Yeah. 
10. Fails. Okay, so I can pick someone else. Um, okay. On Grenji, and it also misses. That's because grass is weak to water. What? Grenange is a water type. Oh. oh. I'm actually, he's a water <laughs> dark type. <laughs> Wait, okay. is that a fighting type? His name is Ninja. What the? No, he's a dark type because ninjas are all dark and cool Water and stuff. Dark. Does a twelve? Oh. Does a twelve pass the save? No, DC thirteen. Okay, uh, on Grinjina again. All right, it's a hit. Technically, Greninja is whatever type as the last move it used because its ability is Protean and that changes its type to the move that it uses. So Greninja is whatever type it wants to be, and it can use Grass Knot, so Greninja can be a Grass type. <laughs> Don't make me keep going, I will. Wow. <laughs> I know my shit. No shame. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Anyone Twitch says, back me up. <laughs> as, your, as your divine uh, protection uh, keeps you safe, one of the roots that was just about to slime over you seems to like almost slide to the side and instead land on Grinji and it just goes ah! and gets like slammed down to the ground. Uh, and Tekka. Does 17 hit you? Sure does. Or five points of bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, <laughs> I feel like there is an intruder in Twitch chat right now. Um, <laughs> what? No, so that's, that's not a name. No one, one two, knows that. Three. Um, Taka? Nope, that misses. Okay, well, it's fine. Four attacks, I'm landing one at a time. That That's okay, that works. Brooke, it's back to you. Um, <clears throat> the squeak has left you on your own. Well, I will do the same thing as last round, just without distraction. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. this. I barely did anything last time. While the... the th well, Talix and Tekka can see that uh, um, the plant is regenerating some of the damage that Grangina has dealt uh, ah, away. Was that for me? What? Uh, no, no, no. You roll your attack. Okay. Um, this is happening on the other side. 17 hits. Also your blast. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. Well... <laughs> Give me more than a one on a d4. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Terranian 14 slashing. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Brooke, you've been you've been at this for uh, for a little while now, and finally your your last slash. Uh, just opens up this entire mound of uh, plant material and uh, it's no longer fighting back. Oh. Alright, I got it! That's where it's... Oh. I can't wait for level 5, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> Twice as terrifying. I still have... Wait, that's 5 and then... And there I still have... 25... It's free, it's free! <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't wait for level 5 either. <laughs> as Grinjin as Grinji is pulling yourself up from the last blow that nearly knocked her unconscious, um, she takes aim and then she, she looks at the right where Tech and Talix uh, are and she says, um, only two of these left and she'll shoot at the plant. Oh wait, she's blessed! Hold on! <laughs> okay! Okay! <Bless>. I, uh, <laughs> um, ooh, okay, Bless just saved uh, this one too. Yes. Okay, it's just <laughs> boom! Best level one spell! <laughs> uh, another bullet hole uh, opened up into this, this poor plant uh, that she's almost single handedly taking down. Uh, whoops, that's an extra. I can count my damage. Hold on. Okay. Here we are. 
Oh, um, no takes back. <laughs> you rolled an extra dice, no take backs. <laughs> uh, and then now that she has a little bit of movement, she's just going to, uh... Hey, step aside! She, like, try to push Brooke out of the way, so she just touches you, but there's no way she can move you an inch. Uh, and she just gets behind the shelf. Pekka! Hmm. Uh, Tekka looks to Talix, holds up his quarter staff with the saw attachment. My blade does not glow. Still, I can cut. And he runs ahead and, uh, yeah, tries to saw through this thing. Uh, roll an athletics check. All right. Um,. Hmm. Bless normally does not work on checks, but um, this is this is this is an attack, quote unquote. So you can throw in an extra d4. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well. Oh. Well. Not gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Toss it in the tower. Which one is this? No, that one's for Tekka. Put it in the dungeon. Put it in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> is this one redeemed? I I imagine so. I only had to, so. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and then a D4, you said? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Does the modifier go on the inspiration die? I don't... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's an athletics check, so whatever you have. Yeah, it's 15. Okay, uh, sure. With 15, there was this brief moment where uh, one of the roots uh, um, shot up and grabbed the saw from the other end and, like, nearly yanked it out of you, but he sort of used the uh, its own strength to, like, get... Um, to, get, to get around and just lower it uh, onto one of the other roots and you just cut right through it um, and it uh, it drops to the ground and uh, uh, moves for a few seconds and then it stops moving uh, so this thing now has one last attack nice uh, anything with your bonus action? ah uh -huh. Sure, C could I just use my, like, unarmed action to just, like, pull at, like, the bulbs here or something? Just, like, cause more damage to it? I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, we can roll an unarmed, uh, an unarmed strike. All right. Are you trying to take this thing home with you? No! <laughs> what, what, what? You're gonna, you're gonna plant some little, some little awakened he's, plant bulbs in your pot. He's the one who caused this, remember? Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that's not, probably not gonna work. Um, yeah, you, you're blessed, gonna need right? more strength. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And we've established Bless can make this work, at least yeah, on a it three. Is, it, it is an attack roll. Please have Bless matter three times in a single oh. combat. Maybe? <laughs> 12 misses. Oh. It's okay. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> Bless making two things hit in a single combat is way more than enough value. I can, uh, I could not be happier with it. Okay. And uh, this is number two, which only has three attacks left. Okay. Uh, so it's going to aim. Uh, that's not its turn. It already had its turn. Oh, whoops! Yeah, no, you're right! You're right, you're right, you're right, you're yeah. right. I saw the number two and it tripped me up. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, this already, is gone. It already attacked all of us. <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> She's trying to kill us! Oh, no! <laughs> you're on to me. Pontifex, I'm sorry. It's your turn. I have a thing I want to test. <laughs> he, like, looks at the dead one. That's not going to work. And then he's going to round the corner and check <laughs> this one. Uh... So five, and well, hold on. What's the range of the spell? I might have to go. Um, oh, yeah. He's... Uh, and I'm going to toll the dead on this thing. Find out what happens uh, with necrotic damage. Maybe okay. I'll heal it. Who knows? It's a save, yeah? 
Uh, oh, yeah, DC yeah, 14. Was necrotic, the same. Chain. necrotic damage works. Oh, oh someone else did necrotic rules. before? No. No, no. I said I bet it works. Yeah, his logic is that if Radiant works, let's try the exact opposite. Yeah. It'll either also work or do the exact opposite of what we want. Yeah. I rolled a six. So smart, so smart. Okay. <laughs> uh, and this one's been hurt, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, plenty. B12. <clears throat> It, Let's go. It has eaten two rifle attacks uh, and one oh, saw. Man. Big die. Low roll. Big uh -huh. damage. Two point. Hey, that could be good if, if this heals it some. I think I've only ever rolled like a one or a two on D12s. There's something about them. <laughs> something They're about their issue. They're, They're especially malicious. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay, Dennis wants uh, an epic screenshot. Here you go. Um, well, well, the indicator is a stay. This is pretty... It doesn't have pip, but it's good enough. <laughs> um, Maybe better. With pip in the back, <laughs> uh, every single character on my screen moving forward has one of these Thank token things cool. above their head. Yeah. Everyone has ongoing effects. <laughs> um, but he here's what happens. So you know that that ooze that uh, covers the plant and changes colors based on like the the the, the kind of attack. Uh, that it receives, uh, it does not react uh, with your spell, and you do see, uh, even if it's just a little bit, it does open up a scratch on the plant. Uh, it seems to take hold just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to break everyone's... <laughs> My immersion! Then... So I move five, so then he's going to move up uh, and get behind this other. Okay. Right. Pip. All of my movement. All right. Okay, so Pip sees the creature before him, and he thinks back to how Brook's sword glowed, and that's, that's what made the plant not regenerate. So Pip with the, the final stone floating around his head, which is this chunk of iron ore. He looks down towards the candle, and he's going to use telekinesis to bring the stone over the flame of the candle, and he's going to let it glow. He's going <laughs> to wait for it to glow. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going to heat a rock. <laughs> It's the boiling water all over again. I'm not close enough to tell you how long this is going to take. On a candle. Yeah. And a stroke of genius. And Pip, through, through Squeak's uh, voice, says, Any second now. Any second now. Blah. Squeak, can you talk any better than that? <laughs> uh, okay. I will let you know when that's thoroughly heated. <laughs> right. He's gonna burn down the library with a rock. Talix? I would love okay. if the rock explodes before going uh, <laughs> to glow. Talix is feeling inspired, seeing that we've got this thing on the ropes. How, how does it look? Uh, it looks like ropes. it's falling apart, yeah. Okay. Gonna put away his amber and grab his staff with both hands, cast Shillelagh and charge forward. <laughs> Come down with a mighty thwack. <laughs> oh, jeez, I should have blessed you instead of the norm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Uh, yeah, we'll just let that go. There's, it wasn't gonna do much anyway. There's just something so unsettling to you about just hitting a plant. <laughs> it just goes against everything you believe in. Yeah, Talix doesn't even eat vegetables. It's just... Hitting a plant <laughs> with a wooden stick is like some form of cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> It's like attacking a human with an arm. Like yeah, punch it's, it's, or something. You're not sure if it's cannibalism, <laughs> but that's not a gamble you want to take. Anything else in your turn, Talix? Um, that's it. 
That's it? Okay. Uh, Squeak can roll another constitution save. Alright. This is at the beginning no, of his no. turn. Okay. Uh, he can take his turn as usual. Oh, uh, oh, what am I thinking? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Pip, what do you want me to do? Go attack the thing? <laughs> Wait. You want me to get the rocks? All right. <laughs> Squeak is going to get the rocks that Pip threw at this plant. <laughs> Try and find them. You the boss. <laughs> um, yeah. He will be picking up the rocks for this round. Cool. Okay. Now it's a plan's turn. Okay. Three attacks. Eat is not blessed. Would wait the blast die. Uh Talix is no longer protected. Mm -hmm. Um Okay, there will be two attacks on Talix and two on Tekka, starting with Tekka. What you just said three attacks. Oh uh, yes. So two and one. Uh, starting with Tekka, 21 to hit. Oh, maybe I should resolve this first. And if that hits, mm -hmm. that's eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah. Then oh, the dang. second attack mm -hmm. is a 14 to hit. Does that hit? It does not? No, 14. Okay. Ah, uh, then Talix, the third and final attack. Ooh, for 23. Oh, um, it's obviously. Okay. Plus this much? That's six bludgeoning damage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. Are you wearing your armored hat, Talix? Unfortunately not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Brook. Uh, is there any way I can get into this or this one? Like, mm. a square. Because I can't reach it, right? Like, I can go through Talix or Tekka, but I can't attack while being on the same spot. Correct. That's true. You can't reach it, but you could reach one of the many roots that's just like expanding from it. <coughs> All right, then I'll do that. Okay, this is supposed to be hidden. Okay. Attack. Ooh. Um, that hits. <laughs> it like mixes me up that your two hit modifier and your two damage modifier yeah. are both oh. seven. <laughs> oh, <What? laughs> that's even more confusing. <laughs> well, three radiant damage and eleven slashing. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a screenshot. Beautiful. <laughs> the most confusing roll, attack roll. Um, okay, so as you're not attacking this, uh, like the, the core of the plant directly, um, you're. Wait, what am I saying? That kills it anyway. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, as you Hello. drive, as you drive the sword through one of the roots, the radiant, the radiant energy travels upward, uh, all the way to the to the heart of the plant, and you see it just wither in front of everyone's eyes. Oh, no! no. <laughs> oh. Pip, your rock is getting warm. All right. <laughs> still, still not so warm that you can't hold it in your hands, but you know. <laughs> It's a nice hand warmer now. Warm all right, is everyone okay? Keep all the other rocks warm. 
<sighs> okay. You should, you should patch each other up because uh, Quick already fell asleep. No, uh, no, day. I'm not asleep. I, but I, I, you know what? We should take a rest. You know, we should just, you should, we should just lay down. And we have get... to fight through it. <sighs> All right. Becca, I don't have much left in me. Here. Tell us a little. Put a hand against Tekka and cast Cure Wounds at second level. Aww. Ah, this will heal five. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, look at that. Actually, Calix is actually pretty good at healing. <laughs> just, just don't jinx it. That's above average. We take those. Hey. <clears throat> that was Shuffle his way to the stairs. I'm I'm thinking maybe I should maybe I should wear some armor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you've got money, no? We can get something done for you after. Look, I, everyone, I think there might be someone in here controlling these. That plant was under a charm of some kind. It's it's not moving of its own will which sounds obvious but so, there's someone here presently affecting it i think well he's definitely not hiding on the first two floors uh, we have the strength to deal with whatever's up there i don't think i do well but if you're discover all strong, the magic that works so yeah I think we have to do it now. There is like not enough time to run back, save everyone, and not fall asleep by ourselves. I know, and it sounds full cool. I just be strong and don't get hit anymore because I can't do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, same goes for you. Don't go and melee charging at it. Also, uh, if this sleepiness thing uh, proves too much for some of you, um... I would not recommend this. This is a last resort. Uh, but I do have this yellow spice stuff uh, <laughs> from the trader, and if it, it, this does not wake you, uh, uh, this could raise the dead. Here, give me so. just a, just a bit of it. Sure, just I'll you know, don't it snort later, it. If it wakes me up. Um, why don't you hand some of that to me? It's... Okay. <laughs> I prefer indirect contact, if that is okay with you. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Sorry, he's very old. Look, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, you know, if that stuff can keep this you awake... This actually correct. If any of you fall asleep, I can just uh, sprinkle it on you. Okay. Just avoid the eyes. So... <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, if anyone wants maybe, some of the spice, no I have a whole jar of it, and it doesn't take much, so... Although we already knew that some things. Uh, Professor, if we happen to come up there and see someone who's not one of these element-absorbent plant things, do you have any lightning magic by any chance? Oh, I've got all sorts of lightning magic. I can throw a ball of lightning, I can breathe lightning out of my face, I can make you breathe lightning out of your face, even. I don't have much in the way of hurting things, but maybe I can help you with something. Oh. I've got, like, one last trick, maybe. Yeah, okay. well, like I said, if you're feeling uh, vulnerable or whatever, I can make it where you can do the lightning uh, cone. I think you've seen me do it before. Uh, I can just simply change it to lightning and I can have you do it. Oh. Or anyone else, uh, if we wanted to. I've never... That's actually sense. perform this, but it seems to reason that a familiar or something of the sort could do it. If Squishkatoratskatskatsk would like to breathe lightning. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Should I, <clears throat> should I toss that powder on him? Nope. Please do. Pip is, is, <laughs> Pip is in the middle of getting like his needles and stuff out, and he starts like like absentmindedly pricking his own skin a little bit just like trying to stay awake and and uh 
gives Squeak a little prick as well. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> we should we should go upward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Brooke would have started making his way up. Okay. Yeah, with uh, with Brooke leading the way and you guys just eventually catching up to him, uh, you once again climb through several floors uh, where there is either no presence, uh, no presence of these plants, or they are beyond doors that you do do not have the um, the ability to open, um, and it it takes a while, but eventually. Um, uh, eventually I find a paragraph. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, um, you reach the top of the stairs, and as soon as you do, the howling wind reminds you that you are currently over 300 feet above the ground. You step onto an open area with a white stone floor and large pillars holding up the actual roof of the tower. A marble fence is the only thing keeping you away from a certainly deadly fall. The ground once again is covered in giant roots, crawling their way across the floor and around the pillars. As something uh, glistens at the edge of your vision, you turn to the right to see a large metallic machine in the shape of a lion. Gosh dang it. As its mechanisms begin to stir, you notice that the lion is held in place by the roots that have grown in an area around it, forming something resembling a cage. There is another formation of plants near it, and as you look... As you look at it, uh, you see some of the roots parting just enough to allow you to make eye contact with Saskarin. Yep. Mm. High level druid that we definitely can't fight. Let's go. Perhaps uh... he only has seventh level heal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah. In it's which case, this is completely doable. <laughs> Sasuke? <laughs> <laughs> I wish one of us had a name closely resembling Naruto. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bless Naruteka. is gone by now. You can be uh, Brook Lee. Oh I mean, Teka's color is <laughs> orange. So. That's your middle name now. Brook Lee. Oh, oh wait. Brook uh, Lee. Sorry, I, f yeah, I forgot perfect. that I have to fix the uh, uh, um, collision box. So we are thing. on the roof now. Yeah. Um, there there is a roof. Yes, there is a, a roof above your heads. That's what these pillars are holding up. But oh, the space okay. in between the pillars, like you can see, out, you're basically outside. You can see down uh, at the rest of Similielon. And yes, there is kind of a, a, a little bit of a fence. Uh, consider it to be this perimeter. Uh, no. Yeah, the fence is over here. So it's the inner side of like my wall here. Cool. Oh, 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 like this. How high up is that fence? Like uh, how high it, does it go? It, reach, it reaches up to uh, about four and a half feet. Okay. So it's low enough where like one could theoretically uh, toss a small blue skinned creature over the edge. <laughs> You're not small. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I am if I, they're going through the fetal position. Okay. Is this <laughs> correct? Yes, okay, it's fixed. Um, let me delete that. Let me start the music again. Uh, hello. Before, uh, I, as soon as we get up there and see that, I'm going to whisper to Gringina. You said you've got one shot left there, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the blue one. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 oh, sweating. <laughs> if I had sweat glands, I would be sweating profusely. <laughs> Talix is confident he's not going to die. <laughs> just, <clears throat> just be ready. Okay. Um. Yeah, Gringina is going to just aim her rifle at the mass of plants that surround uh, Saskarin. Um, as he's, he, as he's speaking through the plants, um, everyone can roll an insight check. Inside? I 
I see now why yes. you were very nervous and scared, Windsor. Since we either survive this or get TPK'd. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got two people adding to well, the counters. Those are always <laughs> the options. Oh. Uh, we, we could, yeah, we, I mean, let's just talk. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm still caught up in which one they're referring to when they say the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, think you can talk with someone hiding in plants? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is conventional wisdom. You cannot, you cannot reason with people amidst plants. Yeah. <laughs> That's like it's like a saying, like, oh, he's inconsolable. He's with the plants now. <laughs> <laughs> it is on Florida. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I it was I'm a on specifically, yeah. Yeah, I thought that it was a Furbox thing only. I'm surprised you know that as well. Well, <laughs> you... Alex has spent some time in your area. Yeah. Are you with plants? I am... Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, Talix, <clears throat> uh, uh, as uh, so <laughs> 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 um, you're the only one who uh, picks up on on Saskia's e expression. Uh, you're you're fair distance away, and you're just you know worried about what this person can do. Um, but for, he, he seems, he, he seems to be in distress. Um, when you show up, uh, uh, you can see just a bead of sweat, uh, uh rolling down, uh, uh, the side of his head, uh, and he, like, pulls away a little bit from, from the plants that separate him from the rest of you. He's, he's afraid of us. You want me to shoot him? No, 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 we'll just wait. Just be ready if he attacks. Okay, well, just give me the signal when you want me to. Yeah, do we have to okay to attack him if he becomes dangerous? I cannot see Gringina on this. Uh, I don't know if he's too white. Hold on. Yeah, better. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that okay with you, Telix? Let's talk first. Alright. Tuscaran, right? Uh, I am sorry. You came to visit us before, didn't you? What is I... the meaning of all this? I look for you. And what are you doing to this town? I... He, he brings up both he both uh, hands uh, on each side of his head, and he he's pulling as far back as he can. But the plants surround him on all sides, so he's just uh, he e eventually his back ends up hitting the, the wall. Plants is directly behind him um, as he lowers his yeah, his head, and he says, "I look for you." Well, here we are. Can you stop all this madness now? Everything always goes wrong um what's that doing here pit points over to the mechanical lion um as uh, Siskirin looks to the side, and, and you can see that the plants part a little bit so you can see uh, in that direction. Um, and the lion seems like it's trying to break free. It's like constantly, it, it's like leaning forward at all times as if like trying to pull its legs free. Uh, but it's, it's firmly stuck where it is. Uh, and Siskirin replies, I bring here so it does not hurt but mm, now y you're here whatever you've done to these plants it needs to stop and fast no one 
lets me go home. But it is not fair. I go home anyway. They find a plant. I take it. It only puts people to sleep. Easy plan. I put you to sleep. I take the book. But when I touch plant, it change. That is why I no can go home. Ah, uh, Austin. No, is when could you. Could you? <laughs> uh, could you <laughs> for Pip? Uh, could you roll a nature check for Pip? Sure. That's a just a straight roll. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Squeak knows that uh, when fiends come in contact with things from uh, uh, things being uh, all right, things, creatures, people from the world of dreams, uh, they tend to twist each other. Um, and something is beginning to click in Pip's mind. He knows what this creature is. Um, this is a Forlorn, a creature that is both a fey and a fiend, both mm. from the world of dreams and from the sea. Shunned by both. Go, oh. go home. Where even is your home? Oh, yeah. Uh. Mm. World where I sleep. World where water is. Well, you can walk there, can't you? The sea? No, no, they throw me out. Always. Please, I need book. What the, will the book help you do? I do one good deed. I make friend happy. Friend. Who is this friend? My friend. What's your friend? Was your friend's name Jamuel? Uh, Saskarin recoils at that name. Uh, he presses his hands against the sides of his head a little bit further. Um, begins, uh, there, there isn't a lot of hair left on his head. And he just begins pulling at what's left and he says, I kill him. I kill him. But... My friend, say, ye not die. So, it is okay. Someone has... Professor, what is the book? Can... The book saying anything? Uh, make a body wall so it cannot see me do this. <laughs> turn, turn around. 
<laughs> he's gonna try to get behind Brooke because he's the biggest. Oh. Uh, and try to flip through the book. <laughs> um, Pontifex, so ever since uh, um, the book claimed to be Orm, um, no additional writing has appeared uh, ever since. And uh, nothing appears now for you. <clears throat> Is your friend named Orm? I think if Pip walks up, Brooke... Oh, he can't walk up because he's hiding the book. Well, if you start uh, walking up, Pun Effects is also <laughs> going He's also yes. walking, yes. yeah. <laughs> that oh, is no, perfect, no, no. then follow me. Body <laughs> 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 wall, body wall. <laughs> there is a bridge. Uh, <laughs> this gnome is so confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she was just looking at you, trying to figure out while you were reading a book. And then after a moment of distraction, she just brings her uh, rifle pointed again at Siskarian. Um, and Pip, there is a spark of recognition in Siskarian's eyes. Uh, and uh, he raises his, his gaze towards you and smiles a little bit and says, You know, friend? Um, yeah, and I think we could all talk about our friend, but this needs to stop. These plants are hurting people. I promise I bring him book. Are you done with book? Can I take it? Pip looks over to the others. You're taking it too. Orm. Yes, I promise, friend. And Orm is in the sea? No. Orm is home. Hmm. Likely in the land of dreams or something. Which I. Uh... Based on our encounter with uh, the being, he's saying this pretty quietly, uh, with the being that uh, Tekka had such a connection to at the location where we found the book, it would stand to reason there is more connection with the, the dream realm. Okay, none of this um, matters right now. What you need to do is stop this with the plants. I Can you undo this? I can't. I always make mistakes. I felt you controlling them. It's what it's are you twisted. doing right now? It's twisted. It's this isn't what he intended. Sometimes the plant's gone all wrong. my mind goes to a different place, and everything changes. I have a magical idea, but it could make things worse. It could solve the problem, but... Should I try it, or, or what? What is it? I try to force him to dispel it. Right. Yeah? Uh, uh 60... Five and sixty. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> I think the advance was planned. I think uh, Brook would also go two steps more forward if he tries to cast. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I guess after flipping through the book and there not being any words, he'll, uh, he, he would have shut it and, and hit it like back behind his cloak again. Uh, and I'm gonna cast command, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to. And he's he's speaking common this whole time, right? Yeah. Broken common, but yep. Um, uh, and Oh, I can actually do this telepathically because this might actually confuse him a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I have I have telepathy within six feet, so I'm going to command and say uh, this spell uh, telepathically. Okay. What is it? The wisdom saving throw? Uh, correct. It is a DC 14 wisdom save. 
or no, DC 13. This is a cleric spell. Okay, wisdom, you said. Yeah. I don't have high hopes that this will even work, but we can try. They have a 17. It, it did not work. Um, <clears throat> Pontifex, as you, as you, um, gently reach into Saskarin's mind, uh, not deep enough where you can feel, uh, his thoughts and his feelings, so just, just enough to leave a message, uh, in his head. You feel, actually, roll an inside check. Oh, 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 okay. oh. <laughs> um, nice. you feel you your secrets to me like a book. <laughs> you feel like your magic is just about to take hold. Um, when something else pushes you out of Siskirin's mind, uh, something else, but also not something else, uh, something that is him. Something that is a part of him, but is a different part of him. Um, you see, as he. Um, oh, uh, in that 20, I'm gonna give you another thing. Um, you also felt just a natural kind of resilience against what you were trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to, yeah, just the, there being something else to. In, to some, in some kind of form. Um, and then you see as Siskarin um, steps away again from the rest of you and bumps his back again against the, the plants. Um, seemingly in, in, like he's, almost like he's in pain. Um, and uh, um, as he says, uh, I... I can't... I always... always mess up. I'll need everyone to roll initiative. Oh god. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh no, another nat one. Yeah, I've had I've had some this game. Come on, guys! Come on, me! Oh! Did you initiative? Ooh! <clears throat> and the highest one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's like I saw it coming. Well, you're the one that cast the spell. Yeah, it's with a nat twenty mess. insight. He didn't like that. <clears throat> I think maybe Pontifex oh, is even no. saying that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! I don't like some of the words I'm seeing on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, what, what is that? <laughs> hmm. uh, he resisted my spell, but uh, there is something else going on in there. Uh, I don't think he likes it, but there is something else running amok. I'm going to advance. I need to get close for this. Or are we going to try to knock him out? No, I'm going to try to excavate his mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, as as Saskarin is looking away uh, from from everyone and just looking down, uh, you hear him say, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, the lion is still trying to pull himself free. Um... Grangina, her, her her attention has been snapping constantly between him and the rest of you, uh, looking just utterly confused at everything you guys have been saying, uh, but still waiting on your command. And every once in a while, she says, and this is another time where, where she repeats it, so do I shoot him? Do I shoot him now? And uh, she's holding her attack. Uh, squeak. Needs to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, 
uh, wait, what, what did you roll? Oh yeah, okay, uh, he 11. passes. Uh, so he stays awake for now, uh, and he can feel something just stirring behind, beneath everyone's feet. Uh, the ground is shaking slightly. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Get off the floor! <laughs> oh, we can't do that! <laughs> <laughs> the flying. one guy that can fly get off the floor, you stupid. <laughs> this is What's wrong with you guys? Uh, how high up does he go? We we have. Uh, 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 wait, where are they? Let's let's do ten feet up. No, fifteen. Ooh. Yeah. Feeling feeling adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there is the 15 feet one. Oh. I don't know why it was at the bottom new? of the bag. Uh, we used you. one of these for, um, on the yeah. ship. I remember we had a height thing uh, before, but, but it yes, was like... We do, uh, we do have like these uh, AOE uh, air effect. They, they automatically resize to the grid, which is incredible. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Like, is this a different one? Because I remember us <laughs> using a flying thing before, and, like, it, it looked different, and, like, it was upside down, so you had to, like, flip. This looks great. Yeah. Um, we didn't start cool. with it. Yeah, it's uh, newish. Um, he's just moving. Uh, yeah, he's he's just up in the air. Um, and I, well, I think he's gonna go ahead and turn invisible. Okay. Uh, then. Whoa. Storms and nightmares. Um, <laughs> as, <laughs> as the roots collect themselves into a, the largest uh, group of them you've seen so far, uh, towering well over even Brook, um, these almost they feel alive uh, in in a way that uh, um, that is scary. It feels like you're standing before a beast. Um, I'm going to need... Um, I need to bring this up in my notes. Okay, just Brook. Um to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay, 15 passes. So, oh, I don't have enough D8s on my desk. Who? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have enough D8s. That's not what I want to hear after pass. <laughs> um, okay, so you take uh, 17 poison damage halved. Uh, you didn't have any resistances, right, to, to poison? Uh, nope. Okay, so that will just be 8 poison damage uh, as these, um, these spores uh, begin to just envelop you in an area. Uh, and you cough them out, and you, you're beginning to just feel very sleepy. Uh, but you shake it off. Uh, you're you're a big guy, and um, you just shake off the effects. Um, and then, uh, then, very much just like before, uh, you just look up as you're coughing, and you see these these roots slamming down upon you. Um, does okay. That is a twenty-three to hit. Yeah. And this is an eighteen. Nope. Okay. D -d 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 for 11 bludgeoning damage. Well. Okay. Uh, from now on, everything in this area uh, is difficult terrain. Unless you're flying or you have some other way of uh, countering that. Uh, Pontifex. 
Yeah, he said he was going to advance and this thing busts out of the ground, and I don't think he's changing his plan. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm going to go auger his brain and find out something, uh, and I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Uh, okay. As a bonus act. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, move. To here. And you only have 20 to... feet of movement normally, right? Correct. So you only have 10 through here. It's difficult terrain. Oh, this is difficult terrain. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I was going to action dash anyway, so I would get to the same. Okay. Uh, to here. Brooke, it's your turn. Well, there is only one footway, and that is forward. Oh, sorry, um, real quick. Uh, on my way, could I have could I have handed off Jamuel to someone, like an interact action or something? I sure. I was yeah. gonna say Talix might have wanted to take him because he has yeah. an idea. <laughs> then there you go. He will uh, he will hand off the book as he as he shuffles past Talix at impressive speed. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke. Yeah, I will swing at that thing. Go for it. Yeah. Hmm. At 25 like hits? These? Ooh. Oh, man. It's one radiant and eight slash. Now's not the time, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Look, stop <laughs> screwing around and kill it. <laughs> Give me more inspiration, guys. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Can't use them on damage, guys, unfortunately. <sighs> okay. Uh, but at least... Um... You have already experimented with the effectiveness of your attacks on the previous plants, and this one might be bigger, but it's no more resistant to your sword than any of the others. Anything else in your turn? Oh, no. That's all I can Talix. do. Okay. Difficult terrain. Is that just for this part where we see the roots? If I it's... go further out, can I move? Um, okay, yeah, let's say that it is roughly in this shape. Okay. <laughs> so if you um, wanted to like reach these edges, ah. Uh, uh, yeah, Talix with Jamiel in hand. I need to erase that. Uh, he's gonna just run past Gringina. As soon as you have a good shot, take it. Oh, and he's um, just going to. She'll take a reaction and shoot now. Okay. Ah, uh, there is an opening. Okay, uh, hold on, what is his armor class? Yeah. Oh, okay, she hits. Okay, and, uh, um, yeah, as, as you pass by her and you tell her that she, she just goes, Yeah, I got it. Boom! Um... Uh, the sound just echoes throughout the city, and uh, you hear Siskarin just screaming and falling backward, and through the, the small gap in between uh, uh, the, uh, the, the roots that make up his prison, uh, just, there is a small splatter of blood that shoots through. His... Wait, okay, so does he look like he's still up? Uh, he's out of sight. Uh, he fell back. He, he has fallen Talos back. Is, Talos is dashing now. But we definitely know that she hit him because of the blood. Mm-hmm. Cool. So nothing else has changed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, yeah, that was movements and dash. Okay. Taka? Uh, Tekka runs for jumping over the roots as it goes, and then strikes, uh, with poor staff. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you have 40 feet of walking speed. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 18 hits. Good. Hey, uh, and I will add the maneuvering attack. Uh, so as he is about to strike, he shouts uh, in Brooke's direction, Hit and run! Uh, and Brooke can uh, move for half his speed as a reaction. Can you repeat that? I only heard the last part of it. I was in the toilet, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tekka shouts hit and run uh, to Brooke. Uh, so... At any point, you can use your reaction to move half your speed uh, without any opportunity attacks. If you feel like oh. you want to get out of dodge, uh, or you if you want to flank, that also that also could work. It's up to you. I'm gonna roll my damage. It just has a bonus action. Reaction. Reaction. So we can do it right now. Yeah. Mm. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking he had, uh, for half his movement, right? Yeah. Which is also halved by the difficult right. terrain. Would that yeah. mean yeah. five like single feet? Space. Yeah. Uh, does 15 get halved to five? 15 would get halved, down, rounded down to seven. So, yeah. Alright. Well, you can move, you can move Brook for uh, one square. Oh, you want me to do it now? It's, it's your reaction. You yes, it happens now. Oh, okay. I, I thought I had it whenever. Okay. Uh, and, and it won't provoke um, attacks of opportunity. Yeah, but yeah, I have one space. Like, even if I... <laughs> <laughs> we don't know for sure if that thing has reach, but it probably does. The other ones. Yeah, I'll go one far, to the so. left. And an extra three damage? Yes, that's 10 damage in total, and then he'll move like the wind and dash out of there. A giant leap back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has, he has insane movement. <laughs> Amazing. Monk. Okay, uh, Pip. Uh, doesn't your step of the wind straight up ignore difficult terrain? It does, but yeah. I don't oh. really have a reason to move further away. Oh, yeah, because he you ran in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I if he wanted to, he could just okay. sprint like 40 feet through this stuff. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Monks are sick. Easy. From the from the air above uh, this whole whole this whole battleground, uh, Pip's voice is going to come through squeak, and Pip is going to be speaking infernal and say, Saskaren, you have a chance to make this right. You can do something right, and then we can talk. We just need you to help us fix this. And then uh, Pip is going to move. Uh, and dash. And... Where is he going? Can he leap over the fence <laughs> on the other side? Um, there isn't even a need to leap. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know how there's like multiple little columns uh, in a fence and, and like yeah. you could just squeeze in the space in between them. Sure. Okay, you're on the other side. Uh, the wind is terrifyingly fast. Uh, you feel <laughs> like you have to hold on to the fence. Pip looks down and just gets like horrible vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Pip is going to reach down and uh, cast magic stone on a few of of his uh, pebbles, and that's it. Okay. After a few seconds of silence, Saskarin's voice rings out, and only those who speak Infernal uh, will understand uh, what he says. Um, 
as in reply to Pip. Um, hmm. Saskirian says, It is too late. Um. Okay, uh, for those of you who were seeing him through the little gap in the roots, um, he he becomes visible again as he's pulling himself up to his feet. Uh, a He has smeared dirt on his face, and as he wipes it off, uh, the wound left by uh, Grangina's uh, uh, rifle is completely gone. Um... As he casts heal on himself. And the lion is released. As it roots oh. all around the machine, uh, pull down into the ground. And it uh, mimics a roar, uh, but there is no actual sound coming out. Uh, and it is, I'm going to just uh, uh, like yeah, pull these away. Um, and don't shoot off. Okay. Uh, it is going to uh, charge at Tekka. Mm -hmm. How much movement does he have? This much. That's so this would I be expect. 10. No, he can't do it. Okay, yeah. He just moves straight forward at Tekka. Um, and its giant metal claws uh, fall upon you. For a miss and a uh, 19 to hit? That did hit. For 10, 10 slashing damage. Okay. And <laughs> I. Nope. Wait, no, yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I should have done this before. Um. Okay, uh, as the lion is moving towards you and begins to attack you, you see its mane uh, begin to um, to emit light. And uh, uh, with each passing second, this light is sort of like building up and becoming more and more intense. Uh, and that's a mechanical lion's turn. Uh, Grangina... Has a dagger. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Mm. Damn gnomes. <laughs> okay. Stab that root. <laughs> um. Should go melee to load it in your yeah. gun. Okay, she's gonna start to follow <laughs> the dagger. Yeah. She's basically gonna start just following uh, Talix uh, on her small gnome legs. And she'll say, um, do you have a plan? Tell me you have a plan. Then she dashes. I have a plan. Okay, can I help? I'm not sure. Okay, I'll distract him. And she'll just keep on running around where, uh, where the, uh, well, the, the terrain is not completely overgrown with plants. Um, and that's uh, her action. Squeak. All right. Uh, Needs squeak. to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh yeah. <laughs> Squeak is not feeling it. Uh, he can safely land, but that will be his turn for him. Okay. Artifacts uh, just hears a flump. <laughs> flump. <laughs> An invisible flump next to him. I love flumps. Oh, underrated monster. I you think I would one. if I haven't summoned like probably hundreds of them in my D&D &D career with wild magic. 
<laughs> <laughs> At some point, it's like it stops being novel and starts being annoying. Especially as like a DM, where it's like, oh yeah, well, 27 flumps just come out of nowhere, so you know, deal with that. <laughs> deal with that. <laughs> deal with flumps. Okay. The Axania does not regenerate at the beginning of its turn, and I just deleted half my notes. Oh. Yay! Okay. Control C! The whole campaign. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Brooke. And uh, 18 mm -hmm. does not it? 18? 18? No. Okay. Uh, and this is less, so that does not hit. Uh, mm -mm. Pontifex, but that uh, certainly a uh, 12 does not hit. And... Uh, however, a 24 probably hits. On Pontifex? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's 11 bludgeoning damage. Um, these roots are coming from every direction, all around you. The, the, what you're currently standing on keeps on moving and throwing you off balance. Um, this plant in the middle of it, it seems to be where everything is ultimately connected to. Uh, but uh, these things reach so far all around you that uh, the, the hate that eventually gets to Pontifex arrives from uh, on the back of his head. I cannot pull up the the plus minus thing. If I'm clicking the edges, they go. weren't popping. Uh, Pontifex, it's your turn. Uh, you said 11, yeah? Uh, I think so. Okay, yeah, that's not. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, wait, sorry. Um, This might not have happened. I have Sanctuary. It has to make a save before it can uh, target me. Oh, you got Sanctuary. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about it. Uh, it's not a very high DC. So maybe not. Uh, DC 13 Wisdom save to target me. Uh, it's Wisdom... <laughs> 12. Oh, okay, yeah, so that doesn't happen. Okay, so Brook does uh, 24 hit you. Yeah. For 11 bludgeoning. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I don't like that magic. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Better you than me, chump. Huh? <laughs> we'll see oh. that in a second. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can regain your hate points. Ah! Um, nice. And then it's your turn, Pontifex. Uh, don't worry, Brooke. You're going to thank me. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, move and uh, action dash. Uh, so I'll be here, and I have another square of movement after. Uh, and once I get to here, I'm going to bonus action a uh, healing word at second level on Brook. Let's uh, go! Brook is flanking with me, right? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, so I'll roll the healing word and you get to make an attack if you want. Let's go! Advantage. I like that magic! It's <laughs> <Those> flung! <laughs> That's my favorite kind of magic. <laughs> uh. Well. And uh, I heal you for seven. Thank you. Uh, a nine is... Uh, advantage. Yeah, I know. With... Yeah, because yeah, you're flanking. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, you're so smart. The longer I am out here with you people, the more of a tactical genius I become. <laughs> <laughs> Never been in a fight before. Oh? He's providing a distraction month, by just... Too many. He's providing a distraction by just tapping the thing with his staff. You have hey, advantage hey, in here. case you roll a natural 20. He, he already no, rolled with advantage. Oh, oh. He rolled a 2. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Alright, 3 radiant and 8. Nice. Flashing. Beautiful. Good that I have such a nice bonus to damage. <laughs> it's <laughs> insane. It's insane. Oh, it's it's insane. Insane. And Pontifex still has his action. Oh. 
Uh, I I had to action dash to get to here, but I oh. do have another space of. Well, I don't know if I actually need to. Um, am I within thirty? I don't have to move. Uh, uh he's gonna stay. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. Sums up to Pontifex, even though he can't see me <laughs> through that. All right. I can infer. Oh. <laughs> I will. Uh, roll again and attack. How? Uh, <laughs> did you roll with advantage? Wait, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Those are 2d20s. Oh, 2d20s. What? That's a oh. <laughs> Well, I, I see you next turn. Oh. <laughs> It is not the time. <laughs> also, <clears throat> you don't have to roll two twenties. You have to just load one and click the advantage button. Yeah, I realized that. You don't uh, have to load, load any. You just yeah, roll you just oh, yeah. the seven. You can write this, uh, click the seven, and then click advantage. I realized that um, after, but then I already had two d twenty seven. Okay, you know, just letting you know for the future. Um, is do you want to move or do anything else? Um, no, nah, we're staying. Okay, Talix. Okay, uh, I'm guessing difficult terrain starts right at the trees. Mm hmm. Let's see. Can I do what Pip did and try to run up along this? Would that help me move any faster? Um, you can squeeze past the fence, and then, yeah, you'd be on the other side. Oh, but uh, you'd end up uh, being against the column. Um, okay. So like you can do that. You just have to like go back out to go around the columns, which could be also helpful like on this side. Uh, I can't draw like, over here. Well, then I'll I'll just run straight here, mm -hmm. and then dash. This far. <laughs> okay. That's as far as I can get. For now. Then Tekka. Uh, you are facing... You're, you're not familiar with this kind of animal at all in the first place. You're not really sure what this machine is modeled after. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, it, it, it's glowing. And it's uh, clawing you. It looks fabulous. It does look <laughs> fabulous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. I think Tekka will try to slam it. Yeah, I think that has to be the way. Oh, boy. Not a great situation to be in. Wrestle the lion. Ah, mm. uh, 18 hits. Okay. <laughs> And then, give me one second. Okay, rolling for damage. And then, uh, take a right after we'll go for some extra unarmed blows. Bye. Okay. Uh, this is bludgeoning, yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> then, this is probably gonna hurt Tekka more, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Straight punches and kicks. And part of this process, uh, he's going to do sort of like a, a sweep move to try and throw it off balance uh, and move it prone. Let's see if it works. Uh, let's see here. It is... Um... Mm. That's not going to work. Mm -mm. Try one more time. But I can tell you at least that your first blow uh, did dent the metal a little bit. Okay. Uh, and 23 hits. And then uh, for this little prone move, uh, I need to do a dexterity saving throw, I believe. Mm. The lion does. Probably pretty dexterous, but guess we'll see. 
I have a 17. All right, yeah, stays on its feet. Very well done. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's let's see what a little sweeping kick does for damage anyway. Just just in case, you know. <laughs> it's very nice that you're praising the enemy. <laughs> yeah, Tekken would definitely not do that. that that's the <laughs> old player. Uh, okay. uh... Stop it with the ones, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Just tick those counters up. Okay. Yeah, Tekka's the wrestling time. the lion. Um, the, uh, this thing is heavy, and it does hurt yeah. to do, to just like yep. even when you slam with your staff, it just the um, the recoil uh, yep. nearly throws you off your feet. But uh, uh, on your own, it's gonna be tough. Yep. Totally. Uh, ah. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I was just gonna look at that glorious mane and prepare for the worst. <laughs> Pip. <clears throat> okay, so uh, its mane is glowing. Yes. Uh, okay. Did did Tekka happen to to knock any part of its mane loose during his onslaught? Loose? Uh, no. Okay. He did bonk but it, it's but like the mane the mane itself is is made of metal. Uh, it's not like hair. Um. So it doesn't, it doesn't move or anything. He bonked it and he went Toom. And does it look like it's glowing brighter? Every second it's, gl it's glowing brighter. Okay. I can't hold a bonus action, which is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, okay. Um I think Pip seeing like this this crazy weird glowing mane uh is going to try and use his bonus action to shove the mechanical lion, preferably pointing its head towards the plant monster. What I would love to do is hold that, but I can't because it's a bonus action. So, um, so we'll just do it now. Okay, you're like applying uh, so a shove like on the head, so you wouldn't have sort of like turn around. Right. Okay, it's a strength save, I think. That's correct. I have a twenty-one. Oh, yeah, that succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pip is just going to take a deep breath and. <sighs> and start skirting around the outside of this uh, area. When it gets to this point, he looks down and just, nope. <laughs> uh, let's see, what can I do? Oh man. Squeaks, squeaks, sleep in. Uh. Mm hmm. I think Pip's just gonna dash, squeeze back through the fence, and. That's how your move. Uh, this will be difficult to rain. Oh, that is? Yeah. Okay. So I can get that far. Okay, circling around. Is that everything? That's That's gotta be it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, the beginning of Saskarian's turn, the plants that have surrounded him this whole time uh, slowly recede into the floor. Uh, until it's completely free and you can see there there's blood on him where he was shot but there is no longer uh, any trace of an injury uh, this is just like when he healed uh, um, Talix all these weeks ago uh, didn't leave, even leave a scar behind him um, Besides the, the blood that's on him, it doesn't even look like he was hurt at all in the first place. Uh, and the expression on his face is so, so different. Uh, all that uh, um, 
fear, almost uh, even shame that was uh, that was on his face before. It's all gone, and now it's just um, as he lifts a finger towards Pontifex, his expression is just cold um, for a moment, and then he just extends into a smile. Um, Uh, okay, I need Spooky. Pontifex to roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, is this an Wait. attack or a spell? Wait, no, hold on. Never mind, okay, heat metal just takes effect, right? Uh, it does, but this is a harmful spell, yeah? Okay, yes. Uh, so that, so well, he has to make a sanctuary it? save. It probably counts. Uh, yeah, If this it is explicitly count. the heat metal spell, then yeah. Okay, yeah, then yes. It's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it uh, if they target me with an attack or a harmful spell. Yeah, discounts, discounts. Uh, so DC 13 wisdom save. I have a 20 total. Okay. <laughs> He's hitting my metal. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, your armor. He's starting to feel really hot. <laughs> Grilled the frog legs. Um, oh, just put the time limit. Armor takes like 10 minutes to take off or something. Uh, heavy armor? Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Uh, and he begins, he begins <laughs> just chuckling sure to himself. I don't need armor. <laughs> Doesn't bring back good memories, does it? <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, the lion is engaged with, uh, in, a, in a fight with Tekka. Um, uh, how much damage do I take from heat metal? I don't think you take a met- wait. Yeah, it's Never right mind. when you cast this spell. I thought it would only happen later. Any creature in physical contact with the object, yes, you're right. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm rolling these numbers a lot today. That's nine- uh, Fire damage. Uh, so I gotta make a concentration check. Uh, oh wait, no, sanctuary is not a concentration spell. Never mind, no one. It doesn't matter. I would have passed any. Okay, uh, nine fire damage. Oh yeah. Cut. Okay. Yep. Uh, lion, 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 boop. Okay. Um, 10, 20, 25. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna move your token for a moment. Yeah. And here. Oh! Look at that. Okay, I need everyone. Uh, to roll a, a constitution saving throw. Uh, I'm going to give advantage to Pontifex, who would not have the lion within his <coughs> line of sight. Uh, Squeak is also affected. Do I have it in line of sight? Uh, mm. Okay, yeah, you can have advantage too. Let's go! Con save. Uh, oh, uh, not Alex, not Alex. Oh. Alex and Green Jean are far enough away. Whew. Pips Whew. is the first one. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. Um, if you actually roll advantage where it throws the two d20s, if the second one hits the first dice, even after it's settled, but before it goes into chat, it changes it. Because I had a, the first dice fell, and it was a 13. Like, it stopped on the 13, and then the next one hit it and turned it to a 1 and rolled a 14. <laughs> so that's a fun fact. The dice collide and will straight up change the value. It does send it to the chat until both have stopped, though? Right, right. Okay, right. As long as that's the case. Um, yeah. So that means that Pip and Tekka fail. Um... So as the light shines brighter and brighter for a moment, it disappears. And then flash, 
Um, all the light that it, that it collected just explodes. Um, and everything for everyone for a moment just becomes this pure white. And uh, those closest uh, um, can, can feel it almost burn. Uh, so Tekka and Squeak are both blinded for the, okay. the current round until it's, uh, uh, until it's Lion's turn again. Oh boy. Um... Mm, and the lion attacks Tekka. Uh, yep. At advantage. Because Tekka <gasps> can't see. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, 25 to hit? 24. <laughs> Tekka! <laughs> Uh, for 10 piercing damage. And there he goes. Yeah, yeah, you better oh. get to Seska and fast. <laughs> uh, then... It's a very big area, and there's a lot of hurts in the way. I know. <laughs> there yeah, is. There's really no way. Okay. I won't even so be able to get to him this round and do it anything. Can't see squeaks, so he will pick between Pontifex and Pip. Uh, it is Pip. Oh, good. <laughs> it will have advantage. <laughs> um, this would be 20 doubled to 40, which he does have. Um, and why will he have advantage? Because I'm blinded. Oh, I thought it was Squeak that was blinded. No, no. It was, it was the first draw. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Uh, has yes, he has, <laughs> he has an advantage. He has an advantage. Not just that. Uh, well, we started with, with the attack roll. Where are my 20s? Uh, it could be worse, but an 18 still hits. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 8, 9... 11 piercing damage. <laughs> okay. I'm at one hit point. Okay, and I need a strength saving throw. Uh, <laughs> because it has moved... Uh, uh, it has run towards you, and uh, just the weight of the attack uh, uh, is about to knock you down to the ground. No problem. I don't think blindness affects... Oh, okay. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> no problem, strength save. I got you. <laughs> Minus three. Uh, the strength, uh, the, just the weight of this enormous machine is such that it throws you against the fence that that uh, uh, that envelops this area, and you break through it, uh, and you end up <gasps> dangerously close uh, to the edge, uh, down on the ground, prone. Okay. Pip instinctively lets out a. <laughs> <laughs> Which in lion means, no, stop, please. <laughs> to be fair, you never talked to a lion before, but you figured they probably talk like big it's cats. Cat -like. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a speaks big cat. It's just a meow. <laughs> <laughs> he just speaks to Maxi to this thing. Um, oh, Grangina. Oh, no, you're a gnome. You walk so slowly. <laughs> Come on, use water shuriken. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, so as she gets here and begins to push through the roots, uh, Talix is just here and go, damn it! And she she points her gun at Siskarin and presses uh, um, the... Oh, fuck, what do you call it? <laughs> English, no. Yeah, trigger? <laughs> Thank you, trigger, yes! It's a very easy <laughs> word. <laughs> and pulls the trigger. Um, and uh, as she does, she says, don't tell anyone. And there is, there is going to be this this ray of black light that shoots Whoa. towards this Karen as uh, she casts <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's a hit. You can oh, never trust a gnome. She cheats. <laughs> she should have said no one will believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, never, that would have been the bullet. perfect thing. Um, uh, it's 1d10. I don't have a d10 here. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, and hits Saskaren for this much force damage. 
Is heat metal concentration? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. Um, he just needs. Uh, it has, even if it's less than ten uh, damage that he took, he needs to beat a ten, it's right? A, it's a ten or half the damage taken, whichever is bigger. Okay. Yeah. It's a, then he needs to beat ten. Uh, which he does. Uh, so, um, even though he stumbles back a little bit, uh, he does maintain concentration, so the, the armor remains uh, just calling hot. Um, okay, but he does look hurt. Um, he doesn't look anywhere near as resilient as, say, the, the lion. Uh, and then Squeak, who is sorry, he is not blinded. Uh, and at the, uh, at the beginning of his turn, he gets to do another constitution saving throw. All right, here we go. To stop being tired. He's no longer tired. He can take his action. Okay. Uh, 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 his, his entire run <clears throat> as he pleases. Squeak gets up. Oh. <laughs> Looks at the situation. Uh, he's going to fly in this direction. I can't see that. Fly in this direction. Um, and as he's going over here, he shouts over to Saskaran and says, Put an end to this now, or I destroy the book. Mark my words, I'll do it. Uh, and is going to come over here to the lion and turn back not yet yeah that's it that's it for now okay uh so Skyrim's reply in Inferno will be the book does not matter this is fun Yikes. Ah, uh, the plant! <coughs> <coughs> try me. Uh, yes, it will try. Ooh. Just kidding? <laughs> okay, so it will be uh, the first attack on Brook, which is a 11 to hit. Nope. It tries to attack Pontifex and needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Oh god, is he going DC to attack 13. me four times? Uh, I have this. I think he passes where the stats. Wisdom. Okay, yes, I have a 19. Then that will, that will hit. Well, we'll see. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> it does not. It does swing, it does miss. <laughs> um, just because yeah, my armor is on fire, it does yeah, not mean it does not work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just bonks against your armor, tries again, still needs to do another save, yeah? Or is it per round? Uh, yeah, it's every time. Okay, yeah. Um, that uh, is a nine. It's so it attacks, it attacks Brook instead. Does a 16 hit? Nope. Wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't take it with an 18 either. Uh, so that was... Only with a 19. One, two, three. Uh, Tekka is down. Uh, yeah, this one is on Brook. Ah, uh, that it still does not hit. With a nine. Okay. Just okay, okay, okay. Just straight up dueling this, this one, thing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, eight. Me tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you can both uh, see that this thing was like entirely just unaffected by what the lion did. Uh, you imagine it's because it has no eyes. Uh, <laughs> what, and... <laughs> then, what was I doing with that plant earlier? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, okay, Pontifex. Yeah. Uh... I had the intentions to read this thing's mind, but as I'm probably going to go down next turn, I'm going to try to break his concentration, as spellcasters do. Uh, and 
I'm in a tough spot. So I think I'm gonna do the, the 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 gamble. Um, I'm going to cast Flaming Sphere. Um, he's covered in plants. Yeah. Uh, so scary. Oh, not anymore. Yeah. No, not anymore. Um, okay. Here, let me. Yeah, these these are gone. I'm just I just want to mark the terrain is still being difficult. Okay. Sure. I guess maybe before we do this, it, it, it's in the session that I wasn't here. Is there any like knowledge that, that he would have about like what damage things do work, what don't work, or like some kind of only check? Only that, only that the three damages except for radium we used were absorbed by the plant. Okay. They still did damage. Any, like, yeah. Uh, we don't have any prior knowledge of this creature type thing, right? The nope. four four Lara nope. in there or something. Oh, uh, no. We only know that radium worked. But you, you, uh, hmm. nope. <laughs> uh, then yeah, we're just, uh, he's just gonna do, screw it, fire it. Uh, and I'm gonna, it's an action to cast. Uh, let me double check how the spell works. Um, five foot diameter sphere in unoccupied space, uh, my choice is then right. So I'm gonna put it, uh, like, straight up in front of it. Okay. Uh, right here, I guess. Is this an attack roll? Uh, it is. Uh, it's gonna be a save. Um, okay, good. But it's if it ends its turn, but then I can also use a bonus action to smash it into him. So it's an action to cast it, and then it's a bonus action to ram it into him to make him do the save right now. Okay. Uh, is a DC 14 deck save. Ah, uh, dexterity. I have a seven. Okay, so this is gonna uh two Come on twelve oh, close. ten five Okay And uh, uh concentration check Saskarians <laughs> So Scary is wearing very little clothes, but he does have a lot of these, uh, a lot of uh, sporadic patches of fur, and these all just catch on fire. Uh, it doesn't feel good, does it? You put out yours, <laughs> I put out mine. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a nine. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm no longer burning. Uh, and yeah, there is, there is no... Uh, any indication that yes, I need resistance to this. I lied. I'm not putting out my burn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is that is my turn. That's action and bonus action. Uh, and I'm gonna stay here to, to keep fucking with this. Okay. Plant Brook. Mm-hmm. It's your turn. Mm-hmm. Dennis, why did you put the seed on the floor? <laughs> what? What? It's it's under it's under the table. <laughs> you have smacked oh, no! the seed into the floor. That's ah. actually funny because I put it back here, in between the table and the. Must have rolled off. Disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to actually trying... show. He was trying to, to show Matt it. because he was trying to get it like staying there. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a little bowl or something that you can put it in. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it's her turn. Wait, who was... I'm still at advantage, right? I'm still yeah. flanking. Yeah, who else was blinded besides Pip? Oh, it was Tekka. Tekka. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Uh... And uh, you yeah, hit. you hit. Yeah, there we go. Here's a little bold if you like. Max damage, come on. Woo! That is max damage! Oh, it straight up is. <laughs> nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> We needed that. <laughs> yeah, for a lady. Ones, double ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the plant still lives, but you're just slashing through it. Uh, it your, your, your blade is almost shining as bright as, li as the lion's mane was before. Uh, and everywhere it cuts, it just leaves behind this trail of light. It like latches onto the wounds and keeps them open. Uh, you barely have any strength left in you, but you're you're giving everything you've got to like, destroy this thing. Um, anything else in your turn? Uh, no. Talix. 
Talix is... So, I can hop up here and get to that point, or I can try to go through and... Okay, so I guess I'll try to hop up here and run around. Okay. Or will that work up here, or is that still... Is uh, that, that, that works, yeah, the, beyond the fence is fine. It's just a very strong okay. wind and you're using like your free hand to hold on to the fence that is down to your right. As he runs, Talix uh, unbuckles, or I guess no, he's just holding in his hand. <laughs> Yikes. He, he holds up the book and uh, is going to try to get the lion's attention and says, Lion, you want this? And then he's going to try to uh, leap onto Suskarin. Okay. <laughs> roll, roll a grapple check. Judo his ass. Athletics? Uh, yes. Uh, and the lion turns its head. 15. Uh, oh, I get to pick. Okay. 12. Nice. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, I'll, you can. I'll, I'm wrestling him. Sure, you can grapple him or you can shove him. Um, grappling. Okay, yeah. Do you? But I, I'd say that since you're leaping from that little spot, if you want, you can be both on the ground or you can just like hold on to him, whichever. Yeah, I'll try to. If possible, I'll try to be behind him and like. Have both of his arms pinned, and yeah, I, whatever. I'll I'll bring him to the ground if possible. Sure. Just as long as you're not within five feet of this flaming inferno, because it will burn you too. Uh, but that would be there, fine. Like work. technically, you'd be just on the square. I think if we're grappling, we're sharing the same space. No, but it's fine. Uh, no, no, no. You're no. you're in separate no. uh, squares. No, no there's grappling. like extremely few cases where anything ever shares the space. All right. Um. But yeah, you're right, Cole. It's like you can feel the heat of the sphere just on your clothes. It almost feels like they might catch on fire just from the, from the embers. Uh, but you're holding onto Saskarin's arms. Uh, it's actually not that difficult. He is smaller than you, just a little bit. Uh, and he's still... He's less scrawny than the first time you met him. But he, he still has that malnourished uh, look to him. Um, and you're able to overpower him. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Come on, Tekka. Tekka. He's way uh, taller than I thought he was. All right, let's do the first roll. His little uh, platform yes, is I need cheating. A... Come on, Tekka. Come How... on. How tall did I say he was? No. I thought he was tall. Uh, no. I'm going to use my inspiration. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh inspiration like on death save. Like, That's I a thing. He's kind of short. Come on, Tekka. Come on. <gasps> oh, 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 I went over to your thing and saw the 20. I about to have lost my mind. <laughs> 11 works. Right. Good. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, he's five feet tall. I guess the mini and is a little small. Float. Wait, no, the mini is fine. Oh, but it's big. <clears throat> I see, I see. Yeah, the mini does look a little tall. Nye, nye, nye. He's about five feet tall. And his little okay. base is like extra super thick. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, like of which hat. one of these? You use both of them? Yeah, I've, I've used both of them this session, so you can delete them now. Boop. I will take them. Um, mm. All right. That is one successful death death saving throw from yep, Tekka. Yep, yep. And moving on to Pip. Uh, Pip, the lion that just slammed you through the fence. Uh, his attention has snapped, its attention has snapped to Talix. Okay, Pip doesn't know that, he can't see. Uh... Oh, right. Oh jeez, how long does the blinded last? Until the lion's next round. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> Pip is so hurt right now. Uh, he's just gonna... Uh, he can't see. He's just gonna try and, like... I guess, hide on the other side of the fence where it's not broken. 
um, mm. and just sort of lean up against uh, one of these big pillars and just like just start praying. <laughs> he doesn't know to <laughs> You're on the edge of a building yeah, right 300 feet edge. in the air, yeah, no safety rail, and blind. Just thinking, like, Squeak, help me, Squeak, help me, Granny, Granny! And uh, Squeak is going to use his action. Uh, so does Squeak notice that the lion is... Yes. His attention is... Okay. Then, then Squeak won't try and... Uh, take the attention away from that um uh, so uh, <laughs> pip's gonna take the hide action and no bonus action pip can't see so that means he can't really do much of anything mm -hmm. um so I'll roll stealth. <laughs> is he still invisible? Uh, Squeak is, yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say that's... Oh, wait, no, but the, the plant. Um... <coughs> okay. Uh, that's everything from on Pip's turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, which leads us to Saskarin. Who turns into a bear? Considering it, a dying turns bear. into eight panthers. <laughs> he turns into eight panthers, correct? Uh, <laughs> um, Talix has the book, right? Is it like in mm -hmm. one of his ends? Yeah, I guess it would have to okay. be. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's he's basically holding mm -hmm. it on Saskarin's chest while painting yeah. him. So that and, might be it. <laughs> uh, but it, though. From the entire conversation from before, Talix would have expected the Saskarian to be interested in it, uh, and he didn't understand what he said in Infernal, uh, where he said that he said the opposite of everything he has been seen so far, and claimed that the book no longer matters. Um, and he does nothing to try to get uh, um, to get the book. Instead. Uh, uh, you've seen him do this before. Um, the first time you met him, uh, Pontifex, and I think Brooke had like tried to grab him as he tried to to yeah. escape out of the of That's the um, out of the cave. Mm -hmm. As he disappears for a moment, your your fingers just close onto nothingness. But he doesn't appear too far. He shows up uh, um, just right here, and then he tries to um, he tries to just push you forward. Um, so we're going to do a grapple check, but in reverse, where he's rolling athletics and you can do acrobatics if you'd like, or your choice. Either or is fine. Same. Uh, okay, he's not proficient in athletics, so it's just uh, an 11. Uh, so it gives a bit of a shove, but you keep your balance. Uh, the fence here is still intact, so you sort of like just bump into it. Uh, and mm -hmm. then he extends his clawed hands and uh, tries to, to scratch you. Um, this is a 12 to hit. Uh, that misses. He has, one, he has one last attack, which is less. Uh, so with eight to hit, he just begins, um, he begins slashing at the air, and you can tell that his claws could, would hurt. They look very sharp, very long, uh, but you just, you bend backward, uh, on the fence, uh, just barely out of his reach. Um, as he, despite him failing to, to push you past the fence or to, uh, scratch you, he, he seems delighted. Uh, at this situation, like he's just he's having fun. Hmm. How high up is the squeak flying? Uh, real quick, if that's the end of his uh, turn, he needs to make a oh, save. Yes, that's right. That's scary. Thank you. Yeah. DC 14 uh, deck save. Deck save. Oh, not one. More than. I don't think I'll I rolled. Roll no, I already rolled one. one. Probably just like five to ten feet or so. Okay, that's fire damage, yeah? Yeah, another 10 fire damage. 
Okay, it's no longer holding concentration on anything. Uh, okay. Even as a fire burns behind him, his attention is entirely on Talix. Uh, and speaking of that, uh, uh, how far are they? What is that, 30? 30. Yeah. Okay, that is just beyond his reach. Um, so the lion would just dash to get over here. Uh, which does put uh, it uh, in uh, uh, in range of the sphere. Uh, yeah, but it's only if they end their turn there. Uh, it will. Which, yeah, I'm assuming it um, is. And uh, Talix, uh, the, the lion's mane is, begins moving forward, slowed down by the plants, but just trudging through, inadvertently bumping into Squeak, that just uh, um, just ends up, like, moved aside a little bit and, like, rolling uh, um, upside down. Uh, but the lion doesn't seem to notice. Uh, um, and Talix, you can see its mane starting to build up this glow to it once again. Seven. Uh, and it, it makes the, the deck save and it's half on a success, so I just rolled the damage anyways. Oh, passes. So half of seven, so I three think, fire yeah. damage. Does it 16 pass? Uh, it's a DC 16? 15? Yeah, it's DC 14. Okay, 14. So it's halved. Uh, okay. Does, fire. The, does fire seem to work? Um, hardly at all. Okay. Yeah, it appears that your 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 flames are nowhere um, hot enough uh, to affect the the machine. Um. Cool. Okay. Let's have her move. Oh, she can't even do this. Okay, ten. Uh, half her movement forward a little bit as she takes aim and shoots us as Karen from behind and again instead of uh, uh, instead of a of a bang uh, from the rifle there is just this almost like a fizzling noise um, it's it's quiet and it's just this ray of black light that shoots forward and hits us Karen I don't know where I put my d10 misplaced it What's an Eldritch Blast? <laughs> uh, oh, cute. Okay. Squeak needs yeah. to roll a constitution saving throw oh, against no. tiredness. <laughs> Squeak! Um, that was not the can, time. <laughs> can he pass one? Stop napping. I'm gonna... <laughs> Nice. Well, yeah, okay. Huh? It, we'll see if that works. <laughs> Ten passes. All right. Uh, Squeak is going to... Uh, Squeak is going to swoop through the Wait, uh, ball of fire. Yeah, and... Yeah, yeah. Try and land on Saskarin. Squeak okay. still has... And, uh, does he manage to do that? <laughs> uh, he's invisible and hidden. Yes, he can land on okay. Saskarin. And, uh, then Squeak will just whisper in Saskarin's ear. <clears throat> I'd say I'd like to see you in hell, but you're not even welcome there. Uh, and is Oof. going to take the dodge action. And that's it. Okay. Uh... Wait, did the lion not attack? Uh, the lion no, had, to had to dash. dash to get to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, he does not have uh, enough movement to actually get to there. Um. Okay. Is. Pontifex still under um, sanctuary? Uh, no. no. Whenever I uh, whenever I smash him with a flaming sphere, it goes away. Oh, that's right. I think like 
if you're like the super rules lawyer stickler by raw, it doesn't, but that that seems stupid to me. So I'll voluntarily remove Um Yeah, regardless of uh, the text, I'm not gonna read it right now. It is meant to be like, you know, as soon as you stop being pacifist, uh, uh, it goes away. Right, 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 right. If you target an enemy with a harmful spell, which maybe that doesn't technically qualify. Mm. Right. But <laughs> because it's I... technically not, but no, that's stupid. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely. It's the horrible. same way that people do the. Uh, they even eroded this actually. Their people used to cast spirit guardians and then sanctuary, and then just not, and then take the dodge action. So <laughs> they just would just sit there, and the spirit guardians just destroy everything because technically you're not doing anything. It's just there's an area, uh, so yeah. they had to add an errata to that because it was okay. stupid. <laughs> okay, so uh, Brooke Pontifex, who is so little left. Uh, um, that is still that is still standing uh, of this of this creature of uh, of roots and uh, um, and wilted leaves, um, but uh, it's uh, it's large uh, um, tendril like appendages still move and still attempt to take your lives. Uh, starting from Brooke, that is a twenty four to hit. Mm hmm. For six bludgeoning damage. I'm alive. Uh, another one on Brook. Uh, that is 17 to hit. Nope. An attack on Pontifex. Yep. Um, the, the 16 hit him? Uh, that it exactly hits. Okay. Yeah. That's eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. And uh, uh, it's the fourth uh, root uh, um, attempts to to rise up, but it's it's falling apart, uh, destroyed by Brooks. Uh, um, uh, the the light of Brooks' sword as it moves and like as it's beginning to to lower itself down onto Pontifex, it just like breaks in half before it, it makes contact, uh, um, and falls off. So, uh, Pontifex, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, Can Talix use a reaction to say something? <laughs> uh, Talix, but yes, Talix can talk. Okay. Professor, ready the lightning! <laughs> That's all he's gonna say. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's that or save Tekka. Ooh. Uh, Do is both. this lightning thing? <laughs> is this like a secret plan of Talix's, or is this something from last session that Pontifex would know about? That no, 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 it's a, it's a secret plan. He's gonna do something, and he wants you to cast a lightning spell afterwards. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what of the loo, but you know. This is a little meta. How many, this is a pretty big decision. How many death saves is Tech on? <laughs> <laughs> I should be tracking this, but succeeded one. You don't. You don't yeah. know. You've got to make that. Pretend he failed. Pretend he's right. only got twelve seconds to live. He's bleeding out on the ground. Um... I can get to it later. It is fine. I have seen him come back from once. <laughs> Whatever. You've got two rounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've You've got three got, like, even. He's never three, failed ever. You, um, you know he's got two. Okay, I don't know. I haven't been tracking it. I should. As a person with healing spells, I probably should. But I have a single <laughs> spell left, and what Talik says wait. goes. So wait, wait, uh, I'm going action. to... Oh, what? oh, I see. Never yeah. I, the spells. only way I can do lightning is with leveled spells, and I only have a single spell slot. Yeah. So okay. I am going plan? to... What? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to ready uh, Chromatic Orb with lightning damage uh, to go after Talix does whatever it is. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. That'll actually take concentration. Uh, Ooh, so it will. first, I will bonus action smash this fireball uh, into the plant thing. Because it still does damage, yeah? Uh, yeah. It, 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 it will do it. damage. All right. 
Okay. Um, then yeah, I'll use a bonus action to slam the fireball <laughs> into the plant. Okay, you, you do know. And that then it's to... gonna go away, so you don't even have to to draw it. Okay. Uh, it's a save, right for me? Yeah. Okay. If you want to, it's gonna do half on to save anyways. So if it just kills it with half damage, then you can save yourself some dice roll. Uh, frozen. Uh, a big day. Uh, so it would do four on a success. Okay, it does do four, which leaves it still alive. Oh, it it succeeded the save. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, <laughs> imagine that, like the uh, it 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 because it doesn't move. Uh, but it has like ducks. Uh, um. Yeah, oh, just no. one of its roots sort of like slams down onto the sphere, and it just evaporates. <laughs> Oh crap! Uh, oh. Yeah, it is fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ready chromatic orb with lightning damage, which takes concentration, so the orb goes away. Okay. Uh, which brings us to Brook. Is that thing in front of me down? It's about to be. Move that grass. Would I? Would it die if I just <laughs> run through it on my way to? It's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to attack it. All right, I'll attack it. A better hit. You still have advantage, so. True. Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, Brooke. Oh, oh yes. yeah, definitely it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. No more no, ones no, on those no. damage <laughs> Don't roll too low. Jeez, this is... Do I hear this is enough? Oh, no. <laughs> I was under the impression this thing was a lot lower than it is. It's a giant plant monster called I, Evolved Oxadia. I thought Oxadia. there was a description earlier that like, it was barely, barely keeping itself together. Yeah, but... Now it is barely, barely keeping itself together. Oh my god. Uh, I swear to god if you put one more barely on that. <laughs> oh my god. It's so what close. Is that, 16 damage? Uh, Holy crap. Ooh. Damn. Wait, 10, 20, 30. Cool. I guess that's my turn. Okay. Oh my I'm god. moving on to Talix. Tekka, we really need you to okay. nap 20 on that death save, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Talix is going to throw the book at Taskaren's feet, or maybe like under him, or even like through his legs a little bit, and uh, jump back up here. Not disengaging, so... You can take a slash if you want. I I see. I'm beginning to see what's unfolding. Um, okay, yes. I, I don't. I'm concerned. <laughs> you threw the book at him. <laughs> Bye, Lion book. Lion wants that book. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit Talix. That'll hit because I okay. uh, my shield It's up. only it's only out of the reach of Saskarin, not Lion. Um so it's only it's only Saskarin that just claws at you. Uh oh, for this much damage. One five. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and finally manages to scratch you. Uh, and where where your where your where your wound is open, it feels cold. It feels like there is ice uh, that is being uh, just pushed into your blood. Talix winces, uh, but he's going to just. With the last of his strength, as he's like passing out, say a prayer to Valkanoth to just lend him just one last bit of strength and expend his channel divinity for harness divine power so he can cast one more spell. <laughs> he's going to cast Create Water, which he has prepared, to make it rain oh, in God. a 30 foot cube. 
centered on Tuscaran. But it'll cover <laughs> it'll cover pretty much all of us here. What? Uh, oh yeah, it, okay. it, the waterfall says rain in a thirty foot cube within range. Yep. Um, doing some we'll divinity original sin too, but can't that, that is, I was yeah. thinking that. I love it. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, so it's 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. Yeah, yeah it, goes, it goes further. She's rained on. We're all, we're all wet here. Yeah. Uh, it, if it is like. Oh, yeah, I if guess. If it is like I, this, no. it doesn't get yeah. you or okay, Brangina yeah. or sure. Pontifex. All right. Uh, it, it gets just the two of them. Uh, right. Actually, let me let me leave this uh, down, but like a nice light blue color. Oop, okay. Oh, that's that. a pretty color. He's pretty color like my skin. <laughs> this is what I call a dull the aquamarine. <laughs> oh, aquamarine, okay. Oh, it matches him. <laughs> is that my cue? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> we'll see if the DM feels generous. <laughs> um, yeah, rip the lightning ball at Saskaran, yeah? Honestly, anywhere in Tissera will do. Okay, yeah, sure. Hell, yeah, he's ripping it. Uh, uh, wait, so it doesn't matter? Uh, what the... Okay, yeah, you know, he'll trust Talix did this for a reason, and I guess wherever the water is accumulating on the floor, I'll target that. Okay. Because I guess his goal isn't to actually like hit them with the lightning ball, right? It's just hit the water. Uh, whatever uh, no, you want to do. He's probably gonna try to hit Saskia. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to hit hit the guy with it and hope the water okay. just. Oh yeah, squeaks there. Whoops. Uh, no, no, this is great because this as, is fine. as he throws the ball, Squeak says, oh, "I told you I hate rain," and then braces himself. <laughs> I hate the beach. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> is, it, is, is it an attack roll? Yeah, it's an attack roll. Uh, okay, go for it. Um, he's gone. Since uh, since uh, heat metal is gone, you wouldn't you don't have a disadvantage on it, uh, and that hits uh, that hits uh, uh, oh. Um, just barely, uh, actually. This is uh, I have plenty of inspiration if I needed to. Uh, this is this is a lot of d8s. Um, hold on. Four of them. Okay. Roll eight of them. Oh, crit. Oh, crit. oh hell yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I already did four. Uh, I'll do another four. Uh, ooh, good. So, uh, 15 plus 18. Oh my gosh, 33. Gets a Telex, but I lost the water. 33 <laughs> lightning damage? Well, then I lost wow. the stats of the lion. Oh, jeez. Double to everything. That's sick. That's very generous. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, That's I extremely generous. Uh, hold on. I'm doing math. Uh... Combos like these are always so cool. <laughs> Roll of cool. Does this hit squeak as well? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, fiends are immune to lightning. Uh, Pip Wait. uses his reaction to give squeak resistance to it, but it's still not enough. So. Assuming it's full damage. Is, yeah. I'm assuming, is this doing full damage to everything? Uh, perhaps. Yeah, <laughs> the resistance is. <laughs> Boom! Um. What matters is that, uh, um, so, yeah, you hear you hear Squeak's voice matter. for a moment, um, and then Saskarin yells out, uh, uh, and both he and the lion are down. Oh, let's go! Yeah, take that plant. <laughs> that looks so smart. Uh. How have I not done this before? I have this spell. <laughs> <laughs> it I'm sure you have partaken in the war. And Here's regardless the of the skills. result, uh, no. uh, I have only ever used create or destroy water to destroy <laughs> water from a plant. Uh, this also destroys a plant. 
Uh, oh and uh, it's uh, it's like oh before when Brooke finished it off, uh, the one from the floor prior, uh, by taking off one of its roots, uh, as this entire area is just affected with electricity and there's this, just this bright light in the entire place. Uh, it runs up the roots and affects uh, the, the heart of the plant, uh, uh, which could barely uh, take another hit at all. Um, and once the flash of light uh, uh, is gone, nothing else is moving. Uh, though, Tech, I still need your death saving throw. Oh, God. Let's go! Second Ominous success. music cutting right as he makes a death save. <laughs> Uh, we can be out of initiative, but uh, we do need to resolve uh, uh, Tekka's uh, yeah. struggles. So, um, Calix, unless you have a spell you're doing, the professor is like heading over there to try to medicine check this guy. Is that scared? No, Tekka, who's still oh, okay. bleeding out All of right, the good, good, yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. I was saying Brookwood Hell was giving... Uh, uh, what is it called again? Not cloth, but... Hmm? Gauze? Bandage. No, no, no. Bandage, yeah! Oh, okay. Bandage, yeah. Yeah. Thank um, you, thank you. Okay. I, I'm giving up a, an inspiration die for that, because that was definitely a... That was definitely some DM intervention there. <laughs> That was cool. That was super cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so do, do you want me to medicine check Tekka, or, or do you have some spell you were planning on doing? No, I, I have no spells. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Is, is that cool if I, if I try to medicine yeah. check him I to stabilize every, him? Every, yeah, yeah, I, want every. I want to help you. That's okay, why cool. I'm using bandages. Three and advantage. I have decent medicine. What's the target? Is it just 10 to stabilize? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I rolled really big. Uh, so he's unconscious for... Stabilized, but unconscious for 1d4 hours? Yep. Uh, so... Oh, do you want me to roll the d4? Oh, sure, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, three hours. <laughs> uh, I think I think I got him. He's, he's okay. I think Brooke would pick him up and carry him. Then after that. Oof. Uh, <laughs> is, is it any easier to breathe? Um. That's so cool. Stacking tokens. Probably hard <laughs> to tell, right? It feels like the air is beginning to clear a little. Uh, Grand Gina pretty much just beelined uh, for uh, the heart of the plant and just started shooting it just over and over um, with those non-projectiles uh, and uh, um, it's unclear whether she's like, having any effect on the air uh, as more and more of the plant is just torn apart but uh, uh, either way whether she's doing this or not uh, it is getting a little easier to breathe and your mind is starting to clear up a little bit Talix is going to cast guidance on himself and then check Saskaran really quick uh, vital signs you know is he breathing? Does he have a pulse? Um, I need to run some math uh, first. What are the rules on instant death again? Is it does it have to be twice the maximum uh, hit points? Yeah, it's, it's if you do a thing. So like, if he has thirty HP, then I would have to do sixty, or or it's related to his max HP. So if he has like thirty max but had five HP at the time, I'd have to do thirty five. To instant right. kill. The excess damage has to be equal yeah. to his max. Okay. Excess to max, and if it's from multiple sources, it's each individual source. Right. So if I hit him like six times and it added up, it wouldn't work. It All has right. to be a single hit. Um, 
Saskarian appears to be alive, to be breathing, um, to be to be holding on. Uh, he might even make it without your intervention, though he's he's threading a line. Yeah, Talos is just gonna kind of check on check on the book. Uh, the book, the book, okay. Oh yeah, we did just lightning blast the book. Yeah, we did. Um, you pick up the <coughs> book. It's wet, but the pages have not absorbed any of the water itself. And um, unlike uh, uh, unlike on Saskarian's uh, clothes and his fur and hair, um, there isn't any damage to to it. Uh, not to the cover. Not to any of the pages. Uh, no singeing at all. It seems to be in perfect condition. Uh, Pip wordlessly is reaching down and picking off and tearing off like tiny pieces of clothing, picking off any tiny object on Seskarin, pretty much any little thing that he can find that he can get his hands on from Seskarin. Fingernails. Fingernails, <laughs> hair. <laughs> hair, yeah. You to can. All of it. You can clip his fingernails. You can, uh, uh, no, sh fingernails. you can shave yeah. off his uh, <laughs> his hooves. Uh, it, he had a sword, right? Uh, no. no he what claws. did he hit Talix with? Oh, a claw! Oh, dang! Yeah, real long scared. claws. Not anymore. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Shall we take um who? How are we on, on on time, Jason, today? It's whatever. Hmm. I've got like another fifty minutes max. Uh right. Okay, let's take a five minute break and we'll continue a little bit after this. How are y'all doing? We have been theory crafting. Yeah. <laughs> oh? Hmm. I look at my character self bars. We're doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. So throw blind, another one. <laughs> blind Pip can still throw his stones at things. We can take at least Magic five stone. more giant plants. Three more okay. boss monsters, please. <laughs> How long does this rain last? Oh, oh it's just one round, I think. Is the professor naked? <laughs> In either case, the professor is was making his way, and then is just like collapsed under the ground and is like, <laughs> scooping water off the floor and onto his face. <laughs> it feels right. extra, extra spicy, refreshing. Yeah, it's, just it's nice. sparkling it. water. <laughs> he created mineral water rain. Sure, Pierre, <laughs> <laughs> it's carbonated water. Okay, uh, is everyone back? I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yeah, we can we can uh, resume where we left off. Um, what would you like to do? Talix, did you already confirm that Tess Karen is dead? He's alive, but he's he's weak. Well, what do we do with him? We need to know more. But he's dangerous. I agree. He's not a threat right now, though. Let's... Well, can I even help him? Is anyone here actually proficient in medicine? <laughs> no. <laughs> we just... I think we have... <laughs> Of our five main party, I think four of us are very good at wisdom. Yeah. All right. Well. Do you have a Do you have a way to help him, Brooke? I mean, I could bandages around his wounds. Yeah, you've got it. So you have a healer's kit out of character. Uh, I don't have a healer's kit. I just have bandages. Oh, well, I've oh. got a healer's kit. 
Oh, the healer's kit just lets you stabilize without making the medicine check. That's lame. <laughs> yeah, that's like... Whatever. Talix has a healer's kit okay. in his backpack, and he's going right. to use it. Uh, I thought Brooke had a healer's kit, uh, so... Oh. That's it. I, I will need a medicine check if he wants to stabilize Tekka. Uh, I did. Yeah, he did. Oh, this. you did. My I'm home. the one who made the medicine check. Oh, okay, you're fine then. He just helped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I threw bandages at it. <laughs> <laughs> just like spiking bandages on a Tekka. <laughs> Wake up. That's how these work, yeah? Yep. That's how you heal, right? I could do this magic. <laughs> All right. I'm using my healer's kit to stabilize Sasker and Okay. If uh, if I can, I don't since he's fey fiend anatomy, I don't know if that's going to make it more difficult or anything, but uh not that I am aware. Nope. Nope. Okay. <sighs> And then I'm going to bind him up with ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Could I see that Pip was taking hair and fingernails? Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. I would probably walk over to Pip, kneel down. Are you okay there? You look half dead and still take his fingernails. Pip just holds up the doll and shakes it. Well, I guess it's not too different from the wolf, right? So, take as much as you need. Uh, I think... I think, finally, those spores have stopped. Uh, we should make sure that everyone in the town's okay. Where are we bringing it's, him? I don't know. Jail? We probably have one. And what if he starts Do you think there is about... a jail here that could hold him? I think not. Well, they're... The elves are aware of magic. They know what a powerful spellcasters can do. We'll tell them. His, what... his magic is at a... As I'm positive you've noticed, he's at a very... Uh, impressive level and I'm not sure that they have the means to I don't know I figured like to to make a prison for one such as this it would take one such as this and I don't know maybe I'm wrong oh. but it is a gamble at best I doubt that there are any phantoms still in town since I think they have all left to the west but I could check See if anyone is here, and then over give him to the phantoms. That might be ideal. Just keep in mind that doesn't mean that he will stay alive. <laughs> Once we've given him out of our hands, not really ours to decide anymore. Well, if if he is alive, uh, which he seems to be, uh, I believe I may still be able to. Uh, probe his mind and perhaps he will be less resistant if he is unconscious but perhaps I can see what he is seeing or something of the sort. I don't believe this spell requires consciousness. Anything we can learn from him would... And I, I can do it. Uh, I can only do it once though. Alright. Let's start moving down out of this tower, check on the townsfolk, and, uh... Tech Do you want to check him first, or check him later, or just not bother? Check him later. We need to make sure Tech is gonna make it, too. Just... We need to all get somewhere we can rest. Let's just make sure we're not gonna die whenever we go, <laughs> before we do. Pip just like reaches up and and tugs on Tekka's shirt and looks at Brooke. I'll lower him. He's unconscious for now. 
but it seems to be out of danger. Pip just frowns and he's gonna walk around over to the lion and see if he can find those same letters written on it. And um, also see what was making the light? The... you find the letters? Um, but as for the mechanism that produces the light? Um, <coughs> this would be something far beyond uh, Pip. And he'd have to, like, start dismantling it, too. Mm. Nope. <laughs> What's, uh, Gringina doing? Yeah, that's Uh, I tried to move her token towards the group, and you pushed her away. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, she just approached uh, everyone, and then, like, saw that you were still having your conversations, and kind of just started looking, uh, um beyond the fence and like down at the rest of the city um so by the time where it seems like there's some quiet uh, as she turns around and sees some some uh eyes um uh, turning in her direction uh she'll say well looks like it's over is there movement down there yeah ah uh, some people walking around Hmm. We're in your debt. Thank you. Oh, well. She has, like, her hands in her pockets and just, like, looks up and says, Oh, you know. You did fine, too. <clears throat> well... Oh, the rest of us probably need to head uh, down and talk to someone. Get... I don't know, just report to some authority in town. And, hmm? uh... Well, I'm coming with you down the tower because I'm still not quite sure how exactly we got up here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry, speaking of... Um... I don't know if this came up last session or something. Uh, as we've like been going up the tower, this is the library, right? Yeah. Like the one that yeah. we were at before. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and have there just been like people, like who like yes. library goers who are just littered across it? Did we find Acorn anywhere? Yes. Yeah. Okay. On the first on the first floor. Yep. Oh. He was just right away, right at the entrance, on his little, uh, the small, pixie size the chair that is on top of the desk. Good, 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 good. Sleeping. Mm hmm And uh, I, I mind slivered him, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just making sure. So I keep forgetting I have to play uh, your character as a murder hobo. <laughs> Anyone that's relatively small, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, Majace. Pip will keep an eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't attack children. Any full-grown individual who is smaller okay, so than... Yeah, I'm suspicious squeak. of. Just squeak. Yeah, yeah I'm he suspicious does. of squeak. You're not. He's not fully grown. <laughs> he's, he's a crowing baby boy. <laughs> he's just a baby devil. <laughs> you wait till he's full-grown. <laughs> till he's fully evolved. You just have to water him regularly. No, he yeah, hates the well. beach. Um, <laughs> you're gonna begin. So, uh, so, Brooke is carrying Tekka, yeah? Yep. What else Talix is carrying? Will, uh, Talix will take him. Okay. Um, he is somewhat light. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps, perhaps as heavy as, uh, as Pip. Um, you can just lift him and, uh, you can, you all begin, uh, climbing down the tower. Uh, take back all of your minis.
This map just makes me happy every time I see <laughs> it. Uh, as you're <clears throat> climbing down the floors of the library, um, you come across uh, some of the people that were unconscious. That, un unconscious. They're beginning to stir, but uh, most of them are still just uh, uh, not awake. Uh, Acorn, uh, even even uh, poking him and shaking him a little bit would not wake him up. He seems uh, 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 just... Uh, well, yeah, no. He's breathing. <laughs> hmm. Did you have to roll for that? No. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> no dice roll sound. <laughs> uh, Talix will look for the first, like, decently lucid person and just kind of try to explain the, the situation and tell them to go around and start helping people. Okay. And, you know, kind of spread the word as, like, what's going on? Like, people are suffocating. We need people to start helping people. All right, yeah. Um, starting from like the one. Uh... <laughs> Don't the box. Uh oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cylindrical the... fox box. Yes, they're all competing taverns. <laughs> the cylindrical fox. Well, I mean, to be fair, the dragon wagon is not very wagon adjacent. Uh, my... And I'm fairly certain this other building is, in fact, not a boat. You say that one more time and you're not getting the group discount anymore. <laughs> 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 um... uh, yes, you begin to spread word of what happened and to um, uh, the one person that was like kind of conscious enough to understand you uh, in the library begins to assist the others that are still out. Um, and as you... Um, as the... The escalatorum uh, begins to extend downward, and you all hop uh, hop on and begin to um, begin your descent. You can see um, movement beginning to take place around uh, the colony of Simlielon. Um, most of the people that you can see that are on the ground are still there, but some are beginning to stir, and it seems like it's going to um, to take a while before uh, the nightmare that th that this day of deliverance has been. Uh, reaches its end. Um, some people point at your group as it's descending all the way ta all the way down. Um, and uh, you proceed to, to let others know um, and to make sure that those who are uh, who have been out for the longest uh, receive assistance first. Uh, are you planning on bringing Siskir into the Phantoms? Is that, uh, is that decided? Uh... I'm actually not sure if we actually decided to decide uh, on Go that. ahead and make your decision now. Well, do we want to keep him for a bit longer? Or want me My to see us? My first instinct would go to the local authorities. Right, I just am concerned about their abilities for this. Uh, of course, I know very little of it and even less of the phantoms, but I could be convinced. If they... Well, let's ask them what they can do with uh, with someone of this magnitude. Uh, a <clears throat> user like this. In either case, I would like... If we feeling that it's better to send them with the phantoms, then let's do that. Whatever decision we come to, I would still prefer to probe him while I am able. I agree. I mean, we can keep him with us, I Just... guess. As I said, I can do it once, so once we hand him over, unless it is to a place where we would have future access to him, which I'm not sure we would in either case, I would not be able to do this again. Ooh, when can you probe? Can you do it today, or...? I can do it right now. Well... Uh, and I don't believe they have to be conscious for this. <clears throat> well, now's the best time to do it. Alright, uh... It will only take a moment. Let's get out of the road at least. For sure. And uh, we'll get. We'll go over to the dragon wagon and you can do it there. And I'll try to get word on where we can speak to some authority. 
It might be a little strange for the tavern owner if we go into the draconic badankadank with their unconscious body. Oh, I think we're just gonna have to start telling people what happened. That's it'll be fine. Okay, sure. We saved the town, right? We're heroes, right? Grandjean is like uh, a little bit just a small distance away from you and like uh, uh, talking to people um kind of kind of doing what Talix was doing just explaining the situation and uh, you you do hear her say multiple times yep we did it we saved the day I somehow don't feel like a hero I agree but also, I would not likely be here to have these thoughts if it was not for your uh, clever application of elemental magic there, Talix. That is a new one. I don't know how I haven't done this myself, but it was a stroke of genius. Do you guys want me to look for any other phantoms while you probe him? Yeah, uh, you can do that in the tavern as well, right? If your friend is around. If... Uh... Sure. If that guy is still unconscious, I, I don't know what this could result in. If I probe too hard, it might wake him up, you know? And if, I would prefer if you were around, uh, oh. given our state and Tekka's right. unconsciousness. Well, then let's and bring him up to our room. I have to be relatively oh. close to him, so I would feel better if you were next to me. Mm-hmm. Fair. And okay, I don't you're... know how long he will be under, so we are a little time pressed. Then you're headed for the tavern. Yeah. Um, sure thing. Okay, you can head to the dragon wagon. Still, um, finding people. Uh, as you head there, sorry, the grid is snapping. Oop. Um, more as more and more awaken. The roads are starting to be. Um, uh. To uh, there is a noise and voices, uh, not nothing like the celebrations that the celebrations that should be taking place right now. But uh, at least this no longer feels like a a dead city. Uh, when you walk into the dragon wagon, most of the tables uh, are empty. Some people are slumped on them or on their chairs. Uh, um, uh, as uh, oh, let me roll for that. Uh, yeah, uh, Kailu is in here, also unconscious. Um, you, you don't see him at first, but like as you happen to to walk by the counter, you see that he's just slumped on the ground directly behind it. Uh, um, there is uh, uh, plenty of tables if you want to like just put the bodies on <laughs> on them. Uh, <clears throat> but there's no one currently awake in here. I would go around the counter and try to shake Kailu awake. Uh, roll a medicine check. Oh. I don't want to kill him. <laughs> Just if he's awake. If I can get him awake. Um. He's too... It just doesn't work. Uh, he's not sleeping. You know that he isn't sleep. Uh, so your uh, your attempts to shake him just don't really seem to do anything. Do I see some keys hanging around for rooms? Uh, oh yeah, they're just they're just directly behind the counter, like hanging on the walls on the wall behind it. How much did it cost the last time? Um, a room for five. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Well, I would. Uh, um, you don't you have... guys paid seven silver per bed. Okay. Uh, five beds, split three point five gold on it, and take, if possible, by any coincidence, be for the same room we had last time. Since I know that one will be big enough. Uh it. Uh... The key for that room is not there. What the heck? <laughs> you know, I don't really think we need to worry about the rules right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll 
will take any key, the first one that springs into my mind, and still leaves the 3.5 gold in his hands. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, through all this, uh, Grangina is uh, still following you. Um, and it's like taking these keys, uh, um, she'll, she'll just start voicing her questions and be like, So, what you guys doing? Don't you have some friends to see if they're conscious still? Nah, they're gnomes, they're fine. They're strong. Huh. Um, I actually have some questions of my own. Okay, for me? You are completely unaffected by these spores. What is that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just curious about what what even caused this. It's, you know, I've got to know what to report. To whom? What do you mean, to whom? I don't Your know any officer. other way to interpret the question. Um. Okay. One moment. Um. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Um. Uh, as she uh, crosses her arms and taps a foot, almost like a little annoyedly on the ground, just goes tap, 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 until she finally sighs and says, Well, the Arch Commandant should hear about this. This is an elven colony. You know, we're. Allies. Right. <laughs> uh, yes, how could I forget? All right, why don't you... Hi, Professor, how about you work on your thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why don't you report to... whoever you wanted to report to? I've got a... I still don't know what happened. How? Why did he do that? What is your guys' involvement with with him? Why did you know him? Does our count? Does our answer count the same as yours? As in her little shrug? Oh, come on, man. We work together. I'll just. Mm, if Don't I answer told. all of your questions, will you answer mine? Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, we'll why see. didn't it affect me? Well, it was spores, right? I don't breathe. Next. Are you dead? Uh, eh, used to. What? Um, and she like glares at Brooke for 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 a moment. Um. Before bringing her attention back to Talix, uh, I, I died in the war. One time, I got better. <laughs> Why did you look at me for that? Uh -huh. It's because of your people that it happened. I look at I look at Talix. Do we need to keep her? That's a little racist. You should work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, like a furball killed you? Look, I know I said I would answer all of your questions, but these are getting a little personal. Is it rude to ask someone how they died? <sighs> okay, well, I never had this conversation because generally I don't tell people. Yes, a Firbolg killed me. She lost to a Firbolg. This understandable. Look, just next question. What brought or, you back? Uh, uh, the wolf did. Can I insight check that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah. You've seen the wolf. <laughs> oh yeah, can I insight check as well? Yes, oh. yes, you can. Stop oh. that! Stop oh. that! <laughs> you keep doing that! I know I said I can only read someone's thoughts once, but... Uh... <laughs> You're like a book. 
like a very small, <laughs> annoying book. A <laughs> small, annoying book. I've read that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is an okay. easy read. Uh, <laughs> while Brooke is not too sure, um, to Pontifex, uh, pon uh, well, it, it's obvious to everyone's body, uh, to, to, to everyone, that her body language uh, is, uh, um, um, she's being a little defensive and uncomfortable, uh, but it doesn't seem to Pontifex like she's lying. Um, or even like she's trying to twist her words or half answer. She seems to mean what she's saying. Do you mean you were brought back by a cleric of the wolf or by the wolf itself? I mean the wolf itself. You've, you've uh, met us. You've, I believe you. Wolf. Uh, yeah. I've never heard of... I th you're the only one I've ever... I know. I know. Uh, and I've... No else believe me, so... Is that also where your magic comes from? I think so. I couldn't do any of this before, so yeah, I think so. I would love to learn more about you, but, uh... Wow, there's a lot to get into. Uh, um, you see might her... Be... Hold on, one moment. Oh, okay. You see her squinting? Um, she seems to not really believe uh, that that you have any interest in her, or like a genuine one at least, but like after a few seconds of staring at you, her her, uh, her shoulders relax a little bit. Uh, um, she, she seemed like to almost expect aggression from you, but when none comes her way, she, uh, yeah, she relaxes just a little bit uh, and says, well, um, I mean, can, can I get a question in? Yeah. Cool. Who is that? And pointing at Saskarin. That is a good question. Truth okay. be told, we don't know much about him either. We just know that at some point he traveled with Jamuel Fleetfoot and it seems he killed him. The That's the truth. This guy killed Jamuel? From what we know, though... Or um, what we believe. Um, have you guys started heading to, like, one of the private rooms? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, we're already in the room. Um, so, oh, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't um, think we'd be talking this, about this stuff openly in, like, a hallway. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. Um, and it, it is a smaller room. It's not meant for, for five or six or seven people. Um, but, you know, you can, you can all be in there. Um, and she just, like, she... Uh, Grinchina just turns toward the door and puts an ear up to it for a few seconds, and when she doesn't hear anything, in a in a hushed tone, she says, "This is huge." Um, right. We there's still a lot we need to learn, including things that we can probably only only learn from this man. That is also probably information you shouldn't really. Brought out to everyone. Nobody needs to know. Uh, if anyone finds out that a Lidarian has killed the one of the most important people in the entirety of Plurna, that's gonna be bad. He's not exactly a normal Lidarian. He's not like the others. He's right? a Lidarian. Right, He's got those, those, well, those <laughs> little... He's got those things on his face. Uh, that's all that people are gonna care about. He's right. Oh shit! I need to report this, but I can't report this. Okay, well. forget what we <laughs> said about that. 
Sorry. Well, um, I'm starting to like you as the moments pass. Don't make this any more what, difficult. What you can report is that this man is... Seemingly deranged. Seemingly deranged, and he does not represent the interests of any other Ladarian. Well, I guess that's a good thing about them. They don't really have uh, countries, leaders. Uh... Oh, um... shit. Okay, um, I'm just going to delay going back to my troop for a little bit further, if that's okay. And she'll, like, uh, just slide down the door until she's sitting down. And she's just biting on, on one of her nails. Well, okay. and depending on how my magic goes, this could get more interesting. Yeah. Okay, do you have any other questions? For we do our thing. What's uh, all that stuff about a book? I am a scribe uh, from the College of Scribes. I'm sure you're familiar with them. Uh, there is even a college here. Uh, magical books is sort of my thing. Speaking of Telex, uh, could I have my book back? Yeah. <laughs> um. Sorry, we're not going to tell you everything about that, but... I have been around a long time. I am a purveyor of magical books, and this is an especially important one, so... It's okay. uh, sought after by people uh, who know of it. I don't really care about a book, I guess. The thing that worries me a little is that it looks like this guy came here looking for you. And uh, perhaps that part should also kept hidden. Or like some people might blame some of this on you. We just saved the lives of every single person in this town. Right? Well, after we endangered it, clearly. After... We did not. He did. Look, I'm not bla I'm not it's blaming not you. It's not our responsibility that some crazy person is after us and is willing to do all this to get to us. Right, we didn't right. ask. We didn't bring any of this. Oh, I will still. Yeah, you should. I, you're I, right. You should not mention that. I, I could. Even I think it's better if you don't. Even yeah, though I think if it's I would like to believe. Don't. Telex goodwill on the people. It's easy to blame things on smaller, a smaller group of people than leaving them. Especially if we have no hard proof, right? This will all stay between us. I woke up one of them before we went up there, remember? Yeah. With my magic. We have at least one witness that knows that we definitely are the ones who put a stop to this. Plus, everyone who saw us going down the library. I think they'll oh. believe us. How high are you in your rankings, Rangina? Are you wondering about how much influence I've got? Yeah. Well... Um... Not too far from the Arch Commandant himself, I can speak directly to him. Well... That would make convincing people way easier. Yeah, if you could vouch for us, please. Yeah, well... I'll... Need to go through, um, I'll, I'll need you guys to tell me your names again one more time later, but, uh, yeah. I'll... I can do that. Uh. Yeah. Okay, well, don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Sit over here having a small crisis. Carry on.
So Pontifex, you're going to do your thing? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. All right. Don't get spooked. I will just throw my sword against him in case he snaps awake and tries something. I got a question for you, D. Can I... Can I mind sliver the body and opt to not do damage? No. I might do it anyways. Uh, I thought you were just probing into his mind. Yes, but when I tried uh, to do some sort of magic on him before, the, he was quite resistant. I have a way of breaking down said resistance, but uh, it is a little jarring for the subject. And not wait until I can heal him then. I have not of this. Not that we are starting him over soon. Pip starts ominously pricking needles into a blank voodoo doll. <laughs> okay, maybe I will just go for it. No, no, please don't, don't hurt him. No, I mean maybe I will do it without uh, any of this breaking down. Oh, it's just we can hold until the morning if we need. I think. Not be surprised, but okay, I'm just going to do. Uh, and I'm gonna detect bot. Okay. <clears throat> so I've been looking into this in the time being, uh, um, and uh, unclear whether detect thoughts works on an unconscious person normally. Uh, yeah. But let's just go with that. Uh, and another thing that's unclear is whether he'd be. An unconscious person can't do strength or dexterity saves, but this is wisdom, but again, yeah. unconscious. So I imagine he can he can Weird. put up a fight, <laughs> hence the, the wanting to mind sliver him first. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, uh, can, is Pip doing something that will affect this? Uh, no. Okay. Pip, Pip has his own wishes, but cannot uh, request them. <laughs> <laughs> That'll okay. teach you how to write. Oh, yeah, and you can insight into its reasoning, its motion state, something looms large uh, in its mind. And uh, on a success, the spell ends. So you'd get like six seconds uh, of uh, deep probing. Uh, well, no. So I get I get the service thoughts right away, and then I can do the probe. And if it fails, I get stuff. And if it beats the save, then the spell ends immediately. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going with it. Um, as but, uh, you cast I can your keep spell, keep it going for a minute. For a minute, yeah. As you cast your spell, um, the first um, thoughts um, that you're you're feeling. Uh, um, coming from the uh, the unconscious Ascarian, uh, are those of a large tree that's leaving him in awe. And uh, there is this deep feeling of shame that's running through his mind right now. Okay. Um... Over the course of a few seconds, um, those are mostly uh, that—that's mostly what the what the thoughts and feelings remain on. But every once in a while, they shift a little bit, um, you know, in a manner that feels like like when you're when you're doing the spell and you're talking to the target, uh, their thoughts change, their their patterns change to match the subject of the conversation, any questions that you're asking. And it feels like that, like there is a conversation going on that he's reacting to. Mm. Oh. Um, and as you finally probe deeper um you are presented with uh, an image in front of your eyes um an image of uh, uh something you haven't seen in a long time um the 
the tree, Vakanath. Um, and this image comes to you with the incredible uh, clarity. Like, uh, like this is what Saskarin is currently seeing. Um, and the tree is far off in the distance, but uh, what's directly um, near you is uh, uh, buildings. Like a, like a small village or something that you would... Uh, um, d d with the buildings being old enough that uh, um, this is what you would find uh, on, on Plurna. Um, you don't recognize the area. Um, you haven't lived anywhere like this close to the tree uh, at any point in your life. Uh, and there's people walking around and there's movement. Saskarin is walking as this is taking place. And uh, to next to him is uh, uh, a man that you yourself haven't seen, but you've seen sketches of him. Um, you recognize him almost right away. And on the other side of uh, the of the drow uh, is Tekka walking. And the drow is, uh, is speaking. Um, but the, the duration of the vision itself is just so uh, brief uh, um, that you just gain just uh, the shortest glimpse at the conversation. And it seems like he's uh, showing the place to the two of them. Um, and then you're brought back to reality. Like he's showing the place to Tekka? Like to Tekka? a tiefling or to actually Tekka? To Tekka and to Saskarin. Oh, Saskarin's the, the, the drow, right? No, no, Saskarin's... Saskarin no, no, is no, seeing Saskarin this. Is showing it. Who's this drow? It's, the drow? It's... We don't know the name of the drow. It's the, okay. he's the, one... the one that, that we... Okay, so the theory that Talix presented was that that drow is somehow kept in the seat because every time someone goes out near death while they're in our vicinity the vicinity of the seed they get this vision of Akhenoth and that drow there oh. and they're in his dream sort of like how we seem to be in that tiefling kid's dream next to that other tree oh. okay okay so yeah uh, Tekka uh, is yeah. talking to Saskarin or talking to Saskarin right now and, uh, and the gnome is still with right. us, yeah? Yeah. She's still in the... Okay, yeah, I think he's gonna... I think he's, like, you know, mentally cataloging everything, but I think he's keeping this to himself for now. Okay. Uh, we can end the session here, because I... Uh, 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 we need to go. <laughs> it's past five. Sure. Um, but yeah, we can, we can resolve all this and move on uh, from here uh, next time. Hot diggity dog. I took notes of that whole thing, so I will have this when this comes up. <laughs> Are we gonna have another intro with Tekka's near-death dreams? We need to <laughs> stop letting Tekka go down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it happens. And oh yeah, Tekka is still unconscious, heal. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're both what, They're both. Would I have gotten Tekka's surface thoughts? I'm not um, targeting him to probe deeper, to cast... but don't I just get surface thoughts if you uh, were? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, you everyone? could have done that. Oh, you can. We can choose who you focus on during the whole duration of the spell. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, throughout the change. minute he's not you could probe have... him, but he's gonna get the the surface thoughts of him just to make sure everything's okay. But I'm yeah. pretty sure you can only probe deeper over the one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, just uh, just the surface thoughts on him. Uh, dang! What a session. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, put us to our limits there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. It took it took a miracle of Akanoth to to get out of that one. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not like this. Oh no. <laughs> you're saying you're calling it a miracle unironically. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I left the clergy. <laughs> we saw the problem with genius <laughs> application so... of magic, and then you say it was an act of God. No, Alex, <laughs> it was an act of intellect. 
This was a man-made victory, and the god DM had nothing to do with it. <laughs> this was our accomplishment, do not take this away. I need to go get incense. <laughs> I didn't know he was there. Oh yeah, uh, Pip, where is Squeak? <laughs> oh, he needs to stock up on incense too. Where and like is everything. Squeak? Oh. You know what this means, right? Y'all are gonna have to chant Squeakashtarax. I, <laughs> I have two blocks For of incense. Hour. I don't For know what that hour. means, but I have it. <laughs> well, I oh, guess yeah, we're sunny. not seeing Squeak anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna call off the stream here. Yep. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you had fun. See you next week. Goodbye, See ya. anyone who Bye. is watching. Now we're in Hashtag the future. Ponty game. We're in the future. Bye. <laughs> Ponty Bye. Game. <laughs> okay. Uh, stream is over. <coughs> oh, oh, of all the characters oh, no. in this campaign to get like a fan club slash cult following, I believe Pontifex is at the very bottom of that list. <laughs> <laughs> really? I feel like he's like the most easily like hashtag fan club. smile game. Yeah, real popular like, with the women. I can see a lot of Ponty stands. <laughs> Ponty stands <laughs> going on Twitter and either and defending him to death against all the haters. I won't hear the yeah. slander. I only believe in the Pontifex. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which is whatever truth Pontifex decides is the truth. These are now called Pontifex. <laughs> I think is, Winter Pip is, is a going to. Follower. Winter can't let us level up too much because she has to make sure that I don't get third level spells before we <laughs> right. meet my dad. Same. So that you and I don't get feats, and so that Brooke doesn't get level five, and Tekka doesn't get level five. <laughs> Once Tekka can do more than one thing, in a turn, everything's going upside down. I need. Once Brooke can swing that lightsaber more than once, it's all over. <laughs> now it's plus fourteen. I need 14. remove curse so that Pip's version of the campaign can be over. <laughs> oh yeah, you remove yeah, curse. The level He's five done. for everyone is getting cool stuff, and then Talix and that look. Yeah, we, we we'll get third level spells like eventually. <laughs> I'll get third level spell slots. Just I'm just gonna multi class again, like every level from here on out. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, do all of them. Okay. Mm. Well, guys, I hope you had fun. Uh, yeah, and I hope that uh, I hope that between now and next uh, next Sunday, uh, you enjoy leveling up. And I'll <gasps> see you in a week. Let's go! Oh, it's all over. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh man, that's fun. Uh, oh yeah, I will have to update uh, the little cards. I can't wait to so see that... Tekka roleplay with Saskarin. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be a uh, romp. So uh -huh. gonna, have, like, gonna be a whole sitcom episode next session. <laughs> <laughs> three, three <laughs> unlikely <laughs> roommates. <laughs> 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 sitcom. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so my joke, Dennis wrote it, I just read it. It's all going so poorly. Since it went not as a, it wasn't taken that well, it's your joke now. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so graciously donated. <laughs> oh man, level up. I didn't think this was going to happen. I'm Ever. so excited. <laughs> I it's just know. one more swing, but it's one more swing. It's uh, twice that's as many lot. swings. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Double your damage. Now that plus seven applies twice. Yep, it's at least 14 damage around. Are you sure about that, Winter? 18. Well, <laughs> yeah. Assuming you can hit me. If you have your right going oh, and yeah, you roll true. double ones on both of them, that's minimum 18 if you hit twice. You do a minimum Ooh. of nine per hit. Oh, I have to pick an invocation. This is the hardest part. You don't have oh, to no. do it now. If, hey, you should take Agonizing Blast. I hear it's really good. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this Eldritch Blast everyone keeps talking about? Why are you about? blasting things with Eldritch stuff? <laughs> Does it not hurt your brain? You should try it out. It's pretty good. <laughs> How? How do you... I only know rocks. <laughs> I only know rocks. Only rocks. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Yeah. I should get going. 
Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.